Okay, there we go. Just just needed a, a unplug and replug. But anyway, um, we're playing a little bit of RimWorld today. Started yesterday. We're doing a Roman-themed colony. Uh, uh, fittingly, we've started as a Republic, and that is it. We haven't gotten a chance to improve our uh, religion just yet, or, or our ID religion. So, uh, we've actually, the one good thing that's been happening so far, well, A, nobody of import, we, one person, I was gonna say nobody's died. One person died, but it was a wanderer who wasn't very good in the first place, so we just buried him out back and forgot about him. Um, what has been good that's been happening is we've gotten really good rolls on our semi-random research already. So we got meat smoking, so we could preserve meat. Uh, it lose it, you lose 25% of the meat in... Um, drying it like this, but it is passive and it, it is perfectly preserved. It creates jerky and the jerky doesn't go bad. Um, we did get some indoor plumbing, um, the first tier of plumbing, and even though we're not using it yet, we got electricity researched. There's an EMI field on right now, but it's going to turn off soon. Anywho, let's continue. Uh, we have a cave system we can explore. We gotta take some bugs out. Uh, we do have some stolen weapons, but we don't have very much ammo for them, so we're still basically using primitives. Um, and at the moment, we are researching geothermal power, which means we'll have a nice steam geyser right fucking here in the middle of our base, so that'll be delightful. Really good start, honestly. And we do have two people we are working on recruit. Two people we are working on recruiting right here. We so love all you. Is well. Shut up, baby. Hey, I know it. Calidus. Glorious victory. Ghost Magnu roll zero. Magnu roll zero. Magnu yeet. Go does that was that Ghost Magnu? Where's that one from? Um anyway. Good colony so far, really. Good colony. Uh I would love it if we could start producing armor, uh, which theoretically we can do because we just got the Smitty uh hooked up. I think that'll give us access to some armor pieces. Uh we got some helmets there. Actually, from here we can make a recurve bow, so we can upgrade some of our bows. We can do helmets, we can do quivers. Okay, I think that's the gist of what we can do at the moment, though. That's that's still that's that's good. There's a lot of good things in here we can work on. Uh, let's start with um, a couple re. Oops. Let's start with a couple recurve bows. Let's get some of those made up. Um, then let's do pickaxe hammers. Yeah. So make sure the pickaxe is made out of steel. We'll get more. Make sure the hammers are made out of steel. Actually, uranium would be better for those if I could find some. I don't think, I think we have some nearby, honestly. Uh, mine that out. Yeah, there's some right there. There we go. Beep boop. Beep boop indeed, Rouse, beep boop. Magnus is really good at mining. So that shouldn't take long. Man, Austrian is always taking hot baths. Not that I can blame him, but that guy spends a lot of time in the tub. Is there... Is, you're not, like, filthy or something, right? No. Interesting. Just, just really likes the tub. Yes. Recurve bows are significantly better than the short bows, so we'll be able to replace those. Stash in the vault ruins. Okay, let's see. I doubt we'll head out and do this, but we'll see. Let's see. We are... Where the fuck am I? That's where that is. Where did I... Is that me? That's me. That's, uh... That's wetlands. Ew. Does count as rec... A, n a nice hot bubble bath counts as recreation. That's good. Detected a silver mining workshop. Oh, and there goes the EMI field, so that's gone now. I, I should probably get you something to sleep on, but I don't care that much. Prisoner, uh, let's see, resistance 16. This one's 6. So we got a little ways to go. We do have stews coming. 
but they won't be done for a while. Uh, I think we might need to do some hunting to get some fresh meat. What's out there right now? Oh, a whole lot of elk. There's a whole lot of elk out there if we want it, maybe in the morning when the, when the sun comes back up. What's up, Dino? You want to get in the closet? You can go in the closet if you want. There you go, Dinah. Dinah was clawing at the closet door. She wanted to go exploring. Okay. Part of me wants to eat the uh, the mega sloth, but I know it, it it could very well destroy me. And we still need to get into the ancient danger at some point. But I'm a little afraid of the ancient danger. And more anima yaks showed up. Three of them this time. Uh, so we're going to try to tame those again. Austrian, if you want to... No usable food, of course. Uh, fuck. Uh, I don't think there is going to be any usable food either. Some dead... <laughs> because it is... It had just hit spring. Uh, so I don't think there's anything grown. Also, that reminds me. Um, so the... The, the cornfield we planted here? Entirely useless. Completely useless. Um, so hang on. I want to take a look at fertility. Uh, where is fertility? Okay, so all this yellow area is is bad. Is bad yellow area. So let's um. I'm going to I'm going to delete all of these zones that we made and redo them. Because there's a lot of a lot of shit land here basically. Ajax, welcome, welcome. Almost to a second Twitch baby. Indeed, 17 months. All right, so what grows uh, I think potatoes grow in bad soil well. So what I'm going to do here is basically make uh some potato ground. I'm going to fill out the yellow area a little bit, and we're going to... I think it defaults to potatoes, actually. If I remember correctly, the yellow... Uh, whenever you're putting stuff down, I think it defaults to potato. Yes, it does default to potato. All right, so let's keep going. Expand. Try to try to maximize our, our growing zone here a little bit. Okay, so let's do that, and then I'll come through here, and I will do this, and we'll do this, and we'll do through here. Okay, uh, that won't connect over this way because I put things down, but that's okay. I can fill in through there. All right, so let's go like... Some healer root. Get some of that down. So I gotta decide what's gonna be what's gonna be good to plant in here, basically. Uh do, 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 sweet potato. Rocky soil flourishing on them. Uh rich soils are actually detrimental to them. They do not uh tolerate frost, grow best at average temperature 24C and receive penalties under 20. So sweet potato would be bad. Don't don't pay any attention to Dynabutt. Hi Dynabutt! What's your butt doing? Why are you rubbing your face on a microphone? Why are you rubbing your face on a monitor? What's up, what's up little kitten? What's you, do, what you doing? What's Dinah doing? What's you doing? Oh, we got a good purr going and a lot of static electricity. A lot of static electricity. Here, do you, did you want some? Did you want some water? Here, I'll put this over here. You can drink some water out of it. Is the water level too low? Is that bad water? That water's no good. Okay, she's kind of sitting in front of the monitor. Uh, let's see. Sunflowers, 30% faster in equatorial region. Sugar cane. Tropical grass. Probably not good for here. Strawberries. Sorghum. 
The effective cover, okay. Rice, we know about rice. Radishes, very short, short growth period, less than two days. This means it is effective crop if you need small amounts of food fast and the sowing and harvest work will be most important factor. Okay, so pumpkins, those take a long time. Pineapple, very long grow period. Peppers, animals won't eat pepper plants. <laughs> Having an effective nutrition of zero. Peanuts. I don't know if you could hear Dinah rubbing her face on the microphone arm right now. I'm throwing the seeds half in the garden. Okay, so the peanuts uh, kind of like can help sow themselves. Pea plants, less efficient than corn, rice, potatoes. Peas will receive a, 50, a huge 50% gross boonus if it's raining. Onion isn't affected by blight. Okra, very, very resistant to damage. You know what she's doing? There, there's, there's one of those little Velcro strips that used to like tie down wires and stuff like that, holding the um, the cord from the microphone uh, along the arm. And what she's doing, and she's rubbing her cheek on that little piece of Velcro because it feels good. <laughs> All right, oats. It says low yield, but it is very versatile as a dual crop. It says that it be plays, oh, it produces both flour and oats. What's the grow time though? Uh, Life span. Where, where's, where's the grow time? 6.4 days. So let's see. I think, see, we know rice. We got like one and a half rice. So that's, let's say, six, so between six and, somewhere between six and nine days is basically what we can, we know we can do. Uh, I did corn before. Corn is 10 and we did not get any corn. So I would say we would have to stick below eight days grow time to get anything out of anything. Lettuce. Eaten raw like strawberries, but it needs to be grown in shade outside under roof. Green beans, companion planting. Green beans grow faster if carrots are cultivated in the same map. Okay, so it was green, green beans and carrots were good if you do them side by side. Grow time six days and it'll grow 30% faster if there's more. Okay, so I think green beans and carrots might be the way to go. If we can get enough of them down. Okay, um, Dinah, you are very slightly in the way, but not too bad. So carrots. This one is green beans. Where's green beans? Green beans, that's this one green beans. That's potato, okay. So that that's a good start for now. Yeah, uh, Dinah is is sitting in front of a good, uh, in, in, in front, is sitting in front of the UI like where my face is right now. So yeah, um, can you, uh, here, why don't, I'll make you so, here, I'll move my wallet and my inhaler and my chapstick and then you have some room to lay down. Yeah, there you go. You lay down. Yeah, now she's rubbing her face on my stream deck. Okay, now she's just in front of the other side of the screen. <laughs> Who's being a little kitten? Who's being a silly cat? But hopefully we can micromanage our crops a little better and get just get more food. Because boy, did we ever not grow very much last time. How much meds do we have left, by the way? So we did capture a little bit of this. Um, I, uh, Dinah, you're in front of the UI. Dinah, can you lay down? Can you lay down, sweetie pie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Put your butt down. You put that butt. You put that Dinah butt down. 30, 37. Okay, I can see past the cat butt. Sweet, better for your your breathing health. Uh, I mean, I don't. I I don't think it's it's made any difference in terms of my uh like affecting my asthma. But what I can say is that in Sweden, at least I have health care. So there's there, there's that. <laughs> That's always a positive. All right, we might just have to live with a little bit of Dinah near us. Okay, you uh, drop this. Equip that. You also don't have any melee weapon. 
Okay, so just grab it a Kiwa as a sidearm. Alrighty, uh, and Kurd. You don't have a ranged weapon. Uh, Bakken, okay, you drop that, drop that, put that. There we go, excellent, excellent. Hello Magnus, how goes the relocation in doges? Uh, relocation is complete. Something, something, something dark side. Something, something, something complete. Uh, and the dogs are good. I just took uh, Theo to the park about an hour ago. She had a good time. Uh, she, Theo has taken some getting used to city life, a little bit more distractions than she's used to. Uh, but the last, like, month she's been getting way better. When we first got here, she was fucking nuts. Taking her outside was a huge hassle. It was a lot of trouble. Alright, I need to do some hunting. Oh, also, oh god, I really want those anima yaks, but I don't have any food to use to, uh, to try to train them. Shiza. There's nothing I can easily get either. All right, there's a, here, here, there, there's a elk over here, or what is that, caribou? I think that's a caribou. Also, what the fuck is this? Anima pod, okay. All right, you murder that. Bakken doesn't have any ammo, of course he doesn't. Whoa, 52 months. That's a lot of months. Come on. There you go, you idiots. All right. Somebody, yeah, somebody haul that back. Haul that thing in. Hey, Sam, how you doing? Food binge. My friend Knight died. Oh, well. <laughs> Nobody cares about Knight. Sorry, Knight. What's happening? Shuttle down. Uh, what do we got here? Because Shuttle is taking damage, seeking a place to land. It's Commander because Dus Duskos. Hey, Dark Raider, how you doing? Uh, wants to land at Rome. We love Shuttle you. contains sure, the Duskos Fort, Duskos Fort Cataphracts. Long time I didn't follow, sorry. Uh, hey, Jack, thanks for the doodly there. Uh, well, honestly, they're offering to give me Arctic Pinhole, which in my current game would be useful because you could use this to... I think this will, will cool areas to freezing, which could be used as a, um, as a, as, as a, a bootleg way to make a freezer. I think I'll accept that. Uh, Bakken, make sure you grab some ammo. Yeah, there you go. Reload that. There you go. Uh, shuttle crash. Interesting spot. They would prob- uh, enemies would probably spawn in from over here. So we'll see how this goes. I- I would- I would like to get the, uh, Arctic pinhole. It's better than solar pinhole. So we'll uh, we'll head we'll head over when when we hit five hours, because they usually arrive at four. Caravan animals wandering. What do we got? Oh, oh, a pack of caravan new tyrannuses. Oh, so cute, so cute, and they've got a butt like a, a cart and a Red Bull. Uh, simple prosthetic wing, anima yakwal, industrial spacer ammo, primitive ammo, earl gray, medicine, neutromine, slave collar. Good stuff in there. I don't think I'd be able to successfully tame those, though. Alright, if you guys want to just stand over here, please. There they are. What do we got? Uh, they have guns. I will turn on combat command 
And they will get within range. Doom! No, <laughs> he's fucking hit. Oh, man, I pinned that guy's arm to his kidney. That's that's pretty nice. Oh, one down. <laughs> what is it? Oh, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. What did you need me for? <laughs> oh my god, why did you even need my help? You know what I did notice that time uh, as well? Is that was the first time I've ever seen the guards preemptively attack the people coming in. Normally they wait until they get hit, then they fight back. But that time they actually fought back preemptively. That's nice. Usually, usually they'll be sitting there with like, you know, with, with like a charge minigun and they'll wait for this angry guy to come up and poke him in the eye. And before they, before they try to fight back and then, you know, their guns are useless because they're in melee. Uh, well, they definitely didn't need me. Also, this guy's armor ate a doomsday rocket launcher. What are you wearing? That is cat. Okay, it's cataphrag armor. All right, what about these guys? Slow learner, psychopath, cannibal. All right, the one that's on fire, slow learner, cat person. Cat person, you say? Hello, guys. How we doing? Oh, who's a good cat today? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, look at that pink nose. Look at that little, look at that little snoot. Oh, look at that little cat snoot. Yeah, he's being a good girl. That's a good cat. That's a good cat. Yeah, he's a good cat. He's a good cat. Need to get some good ear scritchums in. Need to get the good ear scritchums in. Oh, uh, let's put, let's bring this. Oh, she's just like, well, I'm bring that camera back. All right. Uh, I don't think I'm going to rescue any of these people. Um, I think maybe we'll just steal their, their, some of their shit. Dinah, I can't see the UI past your tiny little butt. Uh, I took out one of them. I... <laughs> I do, I do like that they came over and they ate the food. Or, or the fact that we put the fire on this guy out just long enough for him to burn longer. That went well. They, they honestly did not need my help. A fucking doomsday rocket launcher, <laughs> launcher that guy. All right, so we can take this apart now. Pods arrived, so that's Arctic Pinhole. I'm gonna use that right now. Is that a, that's, that's gotta be a level one, right? Oh, it's a level two. Well, it is more useful than Solar Pinhole. Well, that was an easy quest. I didn't need, to, well, I, I didn't need to, but I did blow that one guy's like organs out. So that was fun. Excellent. Well, I mean, we could get to level two using the anima tree. We've got uh, 10 anima grass, so we are halfway to a promotion there. Also, I don't know why there is a... Oh, it, oh, it was <laughs> some scavenged bush meat. Seriously, Dinah, I, 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 you're very cute, but I can't see the UI past your cat butt. None of these are close to being done. We love yeah, you. I gotta go do yeah, some baby, serious, um, Glory hunting. to Caesar. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. All, all the good meats down here. You, Tyrannus. 20% chance of it eating me. Uh, and I don't want to hunt them. So I think we'll go for the elk down here.
Go for the elk. Oh wait, here's here's an elk. I'm I'm a, a, again bummed out that we're not gonna be able to get the um the what's it called the uh, the anima yaks. We just don't have we have literally no food that that is you could be used for them. Oh! Shot it in the brain. All right. Well, uh, in the meantime, finish that off. Haul, haul, haul. Uh, I killed something up here, didn't I? Isn't there something else I murdered? That's yeah, fine. Oh, poor animal yak. There's, I, there's. I, I, I ate all the berries. There's no other fruit on the map. There's it's not it's too cold to grow anything right now. So there's just no way for me to get any anything to um try to tame them with, sadly. Tantrum uh is gonna destroy a SMG. Actually I don't mind. And there's a hammer. Ooh, uh, Magnus. You're a constructor. Who else is a constructor? If you see me doing this, that's looking around Dinah's butt. Jidge. So you come over here and equip that. There you go. Uranium hammer. You're also a miner. You are also a miner, so you can come over here and equip a pickaxe, too. Beautiful. Alright. Well, we got some meat, at least. <sighs> the, the inability to get the an animal yaks is bumming me out. Well, I mean, it's always possible that more will wander in. That is the second time they've showed up. So maybe I'll get lucky and more will come later once we have some veggie around. Or maybe it would be a good idea to um, make some kibble just to have it station, just to hold some kibble somewhere. So that if interesting animals come by, we can try to tame them. Resistance down to 14, resistance down to 5. So we actually made a lot of progress on this one, but not much on this one. Thanks for choosing me a short-term worker. I know I'm dead. Well, I mean, you're 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 dead, but not gone. You're you're out back. Unfortunately, we deemed you not worthy of having a proper funeral because you were the wrong religion. But you know, shit happens. But you you were in the you were in the colony briefly. <clears throat> That's one thing about uh, being in one of my colonies is that. Uh, you, you, you might end up lasting for 60 hours, or you might die immediately. And you'll never, <laughs> and you'll never know which. Just have them keep doing this for a while. Keep replacing, um, floors. Some people, some people die day, the, the first day they arrive in the colony. Some of them will last for an age. And we're down to eating rat meat. Dinah, why are you looking at me like that? I'm, I'm, Dinah is glaring daggers at me right now. Like, why have you stopped petting me, human? I love the sound of rapid construction going down. <laughs> oh god, is it frosted over again? Yeah, it's still cold out. Harry, this fight, we're uh, ideally some sort of indoor grow area as soon as possible would be good for us just so that we can keep a steady supply of food coming because right now the problem is is that we are basically only eating meat. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, anima yaks have already left. They were only around for a few days. 
next time. Well, like I said, we've seen him twice in a short period of time. Maybe they'll come back. Maybe we'll get lucky. Beautiful. Making progress. This is a huge research project, too. It's uh, 6,400 research points. It's normally 32, and then it's double because we're tribal. Research speed multiplied by 50%. Project cost base uh, becomes 30 because you are because of my tech level. Yeah, we're we're, ba <laughs> we're basically a bunch of tribal idiots going. You know what? Let's make a geothermal reactor to green power our planet. Mushrooms an option? Yeah, probably. I do have access to a cave system. I just got to clear the bugs out. Oh, did we get? Oh, we did get some soup. Okay, that means we can do a couple more stews then. With some of our stew finished. And we got gut worms. Uh, well, that sucks, but it's not the worst thing. So one of our prisoners, Curd, who's our doctor, and Bakken. All right, it's only three. Problem is, is we don't have a huge supply of meds, and this will let... Oh, fucking... Ah. Okay, now there's a, now we have gut worms and the flu. Son of a fuck. All right, let's get some more medical uh, guys in here now. Get those built up. Those those hit within seconds of each other. All right, all right, all right. So bed bed rest is gonna need to be important now. Curd, you're gonna need to take start taking care of people. Fuck me. Don't barf on the patients, please. I do have a little bit of um, stolen industrial meds that we could utilize. I've never seen someone build with a geothermal geyser indoors. Where? What's the uh, plan with that? Uh, well, the geothermal um, uh, geyser actually provides heat. So it, it helps keep the base warm. Um, not that that's that big of an issue. That was more incidental. It was just that this was where I was planning um, on put, b building my initial, like, starting, my little starting base, my little one-room starting shack. Uh, and the geothermal generator just happened to be smack dab in the middle of, you know, where I was planning on already building. So, you know, it does, it does help in terms of providing heat in a cold environment, but it was, in this case, incidental. Fuck me. Two, de two diseases back to back. That sucks. And that was two two on this one person, right? Yeah, flu and gut worms. Oh man, you got a little messed up. Missing, uh, got a fucked up arm and uh, two missing fingers. And you just got t tobacco dependence. Uh, all right, Magnus has the flu. Jidge has the flu, and Richie's got the flu. Okay. I'll make these medical as well. Boom. We got another geothermal generator, uh, ge geothermal geyser, or steam geyser for ge geothermal generator. Man, I can't word mouth. Um, right there. So we will. Product has finished processing. Oh, my meat! Yay! Some of my jerky has finished becoming jerky. Where are you guys going? Going to get blocks, probably. Yeah. Flu can take quite a while. The, the, it, in this, the flu can A, be very deadly, and B, take a long time to get over. So, I am not looking forward to having a third of, or half my colony down because of the flu and gut worms. Uh, there we, yep, just keep, keep tending. We're gonna really fly through that fucking med. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck me. Well, at least we have some delightful stews to work with. I don't have any foods that... Uh, wait, I don't, well, I don't think we have any teas or anything around. So I've got some rum and some whiskey. Let's see. Rum, does rum do anything for me other than get me drunk?
Mm. I don't see any of this. It's recreation. See, whiskey's got global work speed modifier. I didn't see anything on the rum. Uh, I thought I had some teas around that I looted, but somebody may have drunk them already. All I got is a, some cigarettes, which is uh, consciousness buff. I've got a little bit of wake up, but that's not going to help. And then I got some industrial meds. Yep, so no, n nothing we have available right now is going to help us pass this. Thanks. Thankfully, we had some a little bit of food ready to go. And Richie has a corpse obsession. Well, I mean, hello, Knight. Welcome back to the colony. Make sure anybody who's laying down gets up and gets their own fucking food right now. I don't, I don't really have the, the, the time to spare for, for uh, these people to be fed manually. Do it yourself. Wake up every once in a while and go get something to eat. Crisis of belief. Not a big deal there. All right, the stews are back on. Austrians unloading meat. Good, we got some spare jerky. Some spare jerky and some spare stews. What 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 are you doing? Oh, okay, you're you're leaving some stuff out here. I thought Austin was going out there to do something with a barrel of sludge. And I was like, I don't know what you could possibly be trying at the moment, but don't. Magnus is doing well. Jidge is barely doing well. Richie is on a mental break right now. Let's see if we can calm Richie down. Nope. Hopefully that men sometimes mental breaks last for, you know, a few hours. Sometimes they go on for two or three fucking days. So we will see if we need we might need to beat Richie down so that we could force some meds into him. Fuck me. This is not, oh, so there's only one person in the colony not sick right now. That is unfortunate. Well, I, I'm, I, I was, I was hoping there'd be something I could do to, to, to goose the odds, but I, I don't see anything. I don't see any options. I'm not super worried about Richie just yet because it's not bad. And we do have some meds we could use to um, try to get a better tend out of it. But if it go, if this goes on for too much longer, we will have to beat Richie into, into unconsciousness just to get some, <laughs> just to get some medicine. And that's gonna be unfortunate. All right, R R Richie just uh, finished up the mental break. So what I'm going to do is do industrial curd, finish up on Magnus, go grab an industrial, and tend to Richie. Hopefully we can get 100% tend. It's a 98, good enough. That'll 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 be good. All right, put this back on herb herbal. Let these two beat the crap out of each other for a bit. All right, uh, unfortunately, neither of you get any meds. You gotta go doctor care only. Uh, if you would like to, hit this, there you go, thank you. Knock them down. Oh, but you got the flu. Which one is this? Psychically sensitive, that's the one I actually like better. Psychically sensitive, industrious, and pretty. That, that is the one I like better. 
All right, Kurd, uh, capture. Yeah, and now we're stabilizing. So we'll do some manual tending now. I think we actually got a halfway decent tend without... Yeah, we got a 48% tend without any medicine. That's good. Oh, <laughs> gut, this one's got gut worms and the flu. That's wonderful. Richie. All right, we're catching up. Getting better. So not not there yet, but we got a 98% tend. Ooh. Um, oh, I was going to say we could preach health, but we can't preach health. You can't preach health to yourself. You can only preach health to other people. Uh, so, here. If you guys could get up, get something to eat and drink if you need it. Richie, I guess preach health to... No, that one's down. Hmm. Not gonna, not gonna help the the only person I need to preach health to is the one I can't. Oh fuck! All right, we lost a toe. Oh god damn it! All right, we're going to do... We, we have to micromanage our, our care right now. Herd. Get over here. Oh, fuck me. Take care of those two, please. I got to cap... I got to rescue this guy, too. Oh, fuck me. Richie, how, how we looking? The fact that we've made almost no progress on a 98% tend is a little scary. You guys in the center room should have a toilet built on top of it. Well, unfortunately, you can't build anything on top of the geyser. It actually blocks construction. Uh, it needs tending now. Okay, so you're going to get another industrial go. Hundred percent tend. Richie, can you preach health? Okay, uh, preach health to Jidge. Oh, Jidge, Jidge hasn't been converted yet. Fuck me, God, I can't even do that. Ah, son of a whore. I think we might have to blow through a, f uh, a pretty much all of our medicine uh, because of these 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 stacking diseases right now. Uh, curd. We still haven't done taken care of this guy. There you go. How's this one? Uh, we're gonna go herbal medicine the next time it needs to be tended. Richie should theoretically... You know, this person can't stand. You can't preach health... Oh, uh, oh, wait, wait, no, no. You can preach health to people if they can't stand, but they have to be conscious. Okay, so that's, that's fine. There we gotta preach health on this one. That should help. Oh my god. Fuck this. <laughs> As long as we don't, as long as we don't get attacked while this is going on, I think we'll be okay. Richie's getting there. Magnus should be over it pretty soon. Bakken's got the gut worms. Austrian is just injured from the fight. Herd's got the gut worm. Jidge is gonna be okay. Richie's on the fence. Uh, don't we have a couple more hours on this before it needs to be tended again? At uh, two. Just go for it. Fuck me. We had 37 meds and 11 industrial at the start of this. We're down to 15 and 8. The whole fucking colony is sick. 
This guy's dehydrated now because he hasn't moved in a while. Uh, get a drink to stain forth. Wash him up a little. There we go. Cleaning the vomit. Thank you. Feed Naharis. There we go. Get some jerky in there. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. You guys get up and get something to eat, drink if you need to. Alright, Richie, how are you? Alright, Magnus is gonna be back up on his feet soon. It'll still take a while for the, the, the disease to completely go, the immunity. Because there's still, you know, minus 10, minus 10, minus 15. On there so it'll still take a while for that to go away and get him back up to 100% but one less person to keep cramming my rare meds into uh, if anything I'm probably going to need a larger growing zone so this says the 11th of April May is when I should be able to start planting we're getting there it's above freezing now Bakken uh, we are out of food fuck me Wait, 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 here we go. There you go. Oh, some stew. All right, all right. There was, there's some strategic stews. All right, and there are, okay, good. More animals showed up, so there's more things to go hunt. And my people that can do the hunting are not injured slash sick anymore. Good, 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 good. Richie, how are you? Getting there, getting there. Jidge, getting there. Naharis, you're going to survive. Stainforth, you're going to survive. Alright, when the sun comes up, we'll go out, we'll do some big game hunting. There's some caribou and whatnot available. Try to get some fresh meat for the colony. Thank God those stews were on the stove and ready to go. Otherwise, we may have been pretty fucked. Okay, okay. <sighs> I think we're okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Medical emergency. People are dying from the flu, I understand. You three. I need you to come over this way. And I need you to get me a meese. Or some caribou or something. Come over here. Drafted hunt. Uh oh. Uh I think I think most of them are injured, so <laughs> hopefully they're <laughs> Okay, some of them are injured already. All right, run, 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 Austrian, run! <laughs> Did you get kicked already? Oh, no! Both arms are all fucked up. <laughs> all right, all Bakken, of course, is out of ammo, as always. This is, this is not ideal. These things are really fucking me up. <laughs> These things are really... None of them have gone down yet. <laughs> alright, alright. One down, one down. <laughs> Fucking melee, me melee hunting caribou. Okay, they're all down. Shit, fuck. All right. Oh, man, they broke the skin a bunch of times. All right, all right. 
Fuck me. Uh, who's my backup doctor? F oh, come on! Are you shitting me? They're attacking immediately. Fucking kidding me. Get everybody inside. And lock the door behind us. Tend to yourself, curd. Fucking hell. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, apparently Magnus stayed outside. I'm not actually not sure why. I told him to go murder, inside. Murder, murder. Murder, murder, murder. Which means we don't have the option to stay inside and try to wait this out. We have to go out and try to rescue him. Because he's getting shot a lot. And apparently this Gladius is not breaking the skin! Alright, um... Oh, uh... Well, at least uh, that guy got murdered pretty good. I should be able to run out, out of range of those two pretty easily. Um, the problem is, moving is at 58% because I got hit in the leg. The neck didn't help either. Whoop, 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 God, those guys had short-range weapons. Get the fuck out of the way real quick. Question is, what do we do? What do we do? Do we, do we just accept that we have to try to melee these guys down and fucking bum-rush them and hope they run away? Because everybody's injured right now. Everybody's injured or sick right now. Or do we try to get into the house? It's all, it's just a wooden door holding it. Uh, <laughs> what do we do to this? Did he get, he got, he got shot. Uh, I stabbed him a lot, but he got shot. How did a Gladius not break the skin at all? Or maybe he's not, ble maybe, oh, it's just not showing blood because he's, um, dead. <laughs> of course he's not bleeding. Oh, this one's frail, so that one will go down easily. This one's addicted to opium. Uh, I do have a bow. Bakken, you still did not reload. Why is he not auto-reloading like the rest of them do? And you've dropped your weapon, so go back inside. So... Then you're just gonna start breaking shit. Alright, well, um... Who's my best melee guy? It's kinda me. <laughs> He's got armor on. Um... Bakken, you need to run over here and fucking reload. There we go. He's got a hammer, though, so, you know, I get bashed pretty good here. Dodge. Oh, he's a melee 10. I'm gonna get fucked up. Hit in the arm. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go down if we know that's gonna happen. Oh god no, hit this one. 
Magnus. Well, oh, you know what? I've got pain block on, so he's not gonna go down. Which is oh, I got a I got a hair on my mouth. These guys have armor on, which is a big problem. No, not this one. This one's basically nude, but the ones in the front here have armor on. All right, Magnus has to try to get out of here. Okay, see, now now we've got the problem of they've got guns. So they're just going to stand there and shoot us. Try to kidnap Magnus and get out. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Gotta try to run. Oh god. <laughs> well, there I go. This is what I get for naming someone out. There's no way we're gonna catch that guy, by the way. Not with them blocking the door like this. Yeah, I can't get out because they're they're constantly blocking the door. And that guy is that guy is making progress. Oh, oh, we got lucky on that one. Run! You injured fucks, run! Now the question is, who's gonna run faster? Oh, my doctor's down. A bunch of injured fucks or this dude carrying my dumbass? Bock and go! Get me! Is this the one in armor? I think this is the one wearing armor though. All right, Bakken's gonna catch him. Come on! Oh, dude, knock the knock, got him in the arm. Knock the knock his gut out. Get him! Did you go back? Oh! Now I'm not bleeding that much, thankfully. I just got blunt force trauma everywhere. Oh, fuck me! God damn it. And the worst part is, is I don't even have the ability right to go... Now. We're this fine. this We're whole thing fine went no, tits up you. because I was trying to get some food by hunting those caribou. And now the temperature has gone up, so the caribou are rotting and I don't have the wherewithal of, to take care of it. That, that's my doctor who's down. Uh, strip Helga, just because I don't care about Helga, but... Uh, great memory, fast limber, pyro, bad back. Oh, that's why this person went down. They got a field hand, though. I'd love to steal that, but don't have the wherewithal for that at the moment. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Who's my backup doctor? That's Jidge. Uh, Richie is a four, so Richie... You are going to tend to curd. You're also dying from the flu. That's wonderful. All right, uh, you were gonna rest. Hopefully you, you could survive the last few percentage points without a tend. Oh god, that fucking sucked. <laughs> oh god, the, med the medical situation's not good right now. Okay, I'm going to... Everybody's fucked up. Oh. Jidge got shot in the face with a shotgun. Or she tell self ten. No, I'm, I'm. I don't want to waste the meds right now, and I think he could survive without it. Yeah, he's gonna survive without it. 
Because we are really low on meds at the moment. All right, at least it froze outside, so my caribou aren't going bad. All right, um, Richie. Fortunately, your manipulation is shit right now. Curd, your manipulation is shit right now. <laughs> but Magnus needs to be tended. I don't afford joining the stream. Well, I got a manhunting pack of caribou beat the fuck out of me, and then as soon as that, like... Seconds after that finish, I got raided. So we had to fight off a raid while the whole colony was injured. Oh, also, the colony is stricken with gut worms and the flu while I got man hunting caribou and raided. So, you know, everything's fine. Okay, uh, Bakken, can you... Get the stew off of there for me, please. Australia's still not been tended. Oh god, what now? Peaceful prisoner. Uh, keep a prisoner for 13 days. For, like, no reward. I'm probably gonna say no to that. God, the animals are coming in and eating my goddamn food! Fucking squirrel! Oh, the only psych out I have is wake up. Uh. But you fell over. Okay, now that worked out. Fell over for malnutrition, I think. And, and the flu. Okay, you're fine. Alright, Austrian fell down. Curd. Rescue. Oh my god. Fucking awful. Close that door. Bakken. Murder that. <laughs> okay, it actually drew... <laughs> it drew blood. We actually had a fair bit of medicine. That is all gone now. All we got left is these seven, uh... Oh, no, he's still on a mental break and he's overdosing on... Yayo? I don't even realize we had Yayo in there. Maybe we had one sitting around I didn't notice. We got a free musket. <laughs> oh, there's some corpses we got to get rid of, too. That means you need to be converted again. That is a fuck ton of wounds. Jesus Christ. Oh, and my doctor is fucking stoned. Uh, we lost all of our water pumps, but we got a lot of st lot stored up. Long way would he be useful? Well, we don't have an issue with food. F the food situation is fine. We've got a bunch of um, uh, jerky here that's been processed, and we've got all that meat that still needs to be uh, taken care of. See, we got a couple days there. Curd fell over from being stoned and <laughs> probably from being stoned, pain, and lack of food. It, yeah, yeah, there you can get up now. Yeah, I get some water. Maybe, maybe go get some to eat. Stainforth has advanced starvation. Fuck. 
Kurt, you need to feed Magnus. And you can get up and feed yourself. Capture Stainforth. Psychic Sue, that's useful. Feed Stainforth. I think we're just shoving a, a some weird rat we found into him. Alright, let's, 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 food is food. Some jerky. Austrian, are you up? Uh, not really. Bakken, do me a favor and take all the jerky off the racks. No, take the jerky off the racks. <laughs> you fucks. Take it all off. So at least there's jerky. At least there's some food to eat. Oh, God. Um, Richie, you're you're good now. So let's preach health on Magnus. Because I am the most wounded. Okay. Fuck me. Uh, all right, we're over the flu. The flu, the flu's gone. That's good. Where is the rebuild button on here now? Hang on, I'm looking for a button under my face. Um. Oh, oh, okay, I found it. All right, so we need to go to plumbing. In fact, I might end up moving these so we can get you uh, use of this land again. Maybe move them back here somewhere. So hygiene and when can I get one? Not really, but I can get one right there without issue. Okay. And then plumbing wise, we just need that. Okay, okay, okay. Getting people put back together. Richie, Richie's back up. Jidge is getting there. Stoned, but I guess that's fine for now. Astrian. Magnus is... Ma Magnus basically got uh, his legs crushed. That dude with a mace did fuck me up pretty good. Um, we need to get the corpses out of here because there's corpses rotting inside the house right now. Uh, I need to get the caribou processed, so we need to get those hauled in. It's warm out, so they're going to start rotting. So let's get those brought in. Austrian could work enough to um, to at least butcher them and get them into the thingy. Manipulation's pretty low right now. Hey, we're planting, though. Look at those carrots going down. Ah, fuck. All right, uh, do I have a backup chef? Uh, jidge, 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 jidge. All right, you don't need your mouth working. Th I, I would imagine thumbs would, would, would be good, though. Not, not prioritized to, wait, what? That's construct, fuck. Uh, curd, no, I have nobody else. Fuck me. Try to calm him down. Ah, fuck. Oh, 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 shit. Lots of problems right now. Still can't, Magnus still can't walk. Oh, I wish they would stop getting stoned, but right now anything to keep them from having mental breaks, honestly.
Well, I guess, uh, in the meantime, what I could do is just go like this. Clear. Priority. Critical. And then we'll just go... Animal corpses. Fresh. And just move these outside. Where it's frozen. So they don't go bad. Just dump those things outside. It's cold outside. Shopping merchant! There we go. There we go. Now it's frozen. An animal might come by and nibble it, but that's not the worst thing. Man, I forgot we still have gut worms on a bunch of people. Free food! Oh, what a mess. Richie, uh, can you clean a little? Just some. Just get, just get some cleaning done. Alright, shaman merchant, uh... Let's see, what do you got? You got a duck, some dromedaries, pemmican, neutromine. Got any meds? They got no meds. Uh, they got architect eraser, psychic insanity land, some gold. They've got, I, I, that's ammo I've got. They've got an architect teleporter plus steel, pumpkin spiced coffee, uh, medical caterpine quill. They got like nothing. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I mean, I guess I could just sell them some of the, just to turn, just get out of my inventory, turn a profit. Uh, I didn't realize I had a little bit of opium. Pain, zero. Nice. So can I, uh, just out of curiosity. Let's say, can we maybe, um, maybe put some opium in Magnus? <laughs> some opium. Oh, come on. Are you shitting me? <laughs> oh, motherfucker. What were the odds of that? <laughs> the chance of addiction per dose of this drug. If the drug is at minimum tolerance to addicts, 90%. Oh. Yeah, no, that's insanely addictive. That's right. Um, like, what? what's a cigarette? 3.5. Okay, so the chances of that happening were really high. Who knew opium was addictive? <laughs> All right. Whatever. I'm it got me on my feet. It got, it got me on my feet again. Austrian, how you doing? Not not half bad. Let's start butcher it a little. Process. Really? 44 from an entire caribou? Maybe, uh, it's probably because we beat the fuck out of it with, like, maces and fists. We, we, we didn't hunt them very effectively because they went manhunting. Right, get this stuff processed. We'll cook a little. We'll do a couple stews. Um, yeah, go eat some jerky. Have a bath. That's not a bad idea. It's cold bath because the fire's out. All right, now do me a favor. Uh, I'm going to have you come over here and take some wake up because I got stuff to do. And I need you cooking. It's actually not very much meat, given the amount of animals we killed. There's a stew. There's a 
here's a stew. Refuel. Refuel. Somebody fell down. Oh, it was Magnus. The opium probably wore off. Well, we are doing a Roman-themed colony, so maybe we should all be opium addicts. How bad could it possibly be? All right, stews are on. Austrian, get over here. Start cooking again. All right, I took out the little uh, food zone here, didn't I? Get rid of that now. They're all normal food. There we go. Oh God. Can um can someone rescue? Can someone put Magnus back in bed? My conscious and just down. Yeah, just ex extreme pain. We're actually one of these is about is is about ready to be converted. Uh, is it you? Yeah, resistance zero. And you're almost over the tobacco withdraw uh, withdrawal too. So there is that. All right. Uh, can we um can we focus chatting on with Stainforth here? Oh, thank God. Okay. Stainforth. Uh, we we have someone who's not completely fucked up. Uh, we need to name this one. Oop. Oh, sorry, chat. I just cleared out the queue. Uh, well, okay. Uh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, 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 rejoin yourselves to the queue, friends. And then I'll give Stainforth a minute. Uh, and then we'll we'll do the thingy. That's my bad. Sorry about that. Um, no rot in animal corpses. There we go. So we'll bring these in. At least some of the food is uh, is planted. Green beans planted nearby 48. So we need more green beans. And we need more carrots. We need more of everything. We need more of everything. Stay, stay forth immediately like, yeah, just gonna rest. Uh, no! You motherfucker. This person was at like 94% done with the tobacco, got out of jail, and immediately went and smoked a bunch of cigarettes. You fuck. Son of a bitch. Motherfucker. Well, so much for all that hard work. Uh, also, I don't have time for... Oh, I just accidentally changed the size of the screen ever so slightly. All right, I don't have time for everybody to be on uh, like permanent bed rest now, so get out of the fucking bed if you can, you can, and start working. Get that food out of there. We need to eat it ourselves. I make man ballistas. Uh, yeah, I don't think I know how to make those yet. No, but I apparently do know how to make a cannon. <laughs> Odin Chase, no thank you. Tuscan Gland would be nice, but no thank you. Alright, fuck me. Well, let's give Stainforth a name now. It takes a really long time to get over a tobacco addiction, too. Jinxie. Jinxie gets picked a lot for RimWorld. Uh, Alright, so shooting in melee. So what do we got? We got a recurve bow. Equip that. And let's see. I have a lot of melee weapons. We got a mace right there. Equip that. There you go. And auto, auto, auto doodly. Good. Excellent. Oh. <sighs> Fuck this colony. 
We had a bit of a we had a bit of a rough time there. And we are out of food now, too. Can we just haul this? Pick up. Move over here. Drop it on the ground. Eat it. There you go. Which means I need to go hunting again. Alright, what's on the map? <laughs> There's some meese out here. They're all spread out, though. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, we'll go hunt. There's, an, there's a coyote we could eat. Uh, I don't think this is a priority at the moment. Everybody is up except Magnus now. Still has got some, like, shattered patellas. Do they get my... They, they, so they, they, they broke my... The legs are smashed. The bones in the legs are smashed. Oh, God. Some of them jerky will be ready. Some of this jerky will be ready in a few hours, though. That's good. Uh, I do need someone to, like, refuel. I'll start refueling these things. They've been out for a long time. Don't have animal corpse storage. It's right here. Thank you. Oh, no. Butcher it before you put it inside. Oh, that's gross. That's gross. You could have butchered it first. That would have been a step. Oh, you fucks are idiots. All right. What, what, whatever. Whatever. You, do, you fucking do. You're going to have mental breaks from this. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, also, we have still... A lot of people still have gut worms. I forgot about that, too. Okay, Jinxie, Austrian, Bakken. Out here. Okay, Richie is having a tantrum. Okay, okay. Good. Good job. All right, where's the where's there was a moose over here. Here he is. <laughs> oh, so many mental breaks. All right, we got a turkey on the way. Apparently it's down but not dead. And we got ourselves an Ibex Ram as well. Alright, Richie, can you talk to these guys? I don't know if they've got anything that I could make use of, but try. Is that really empty? Guy's got... That's weird. I've never seen that before. The guy's got nothing. All right. Uh, preach health on Magnus, please. Try to... Try to convince his shattered legs to mend. Time for good beds. Uh, no. We don't have... We, we, we don't have access to that yet. So not... <laughs> we don't know what a bed is. Austrian butcher. Aha! There we go. All right, cook, cook some, cook some steaks. Sausage this place up. Uh, one day, and we'll have twenty more meals. Uh, butcher the meese. There we go, and just keep cooking. Conversion successful. 
Prisoner. Recruit. Animal wargs have showed up. Uh, I haven't seen these before. Nope. Not, not taming them. Mutated by unknown reasons. Connected with animatry, therefore become bigger, stronger, and faster than a regular ward. If you manage to tame a couple of them, they will serve well for the defense of a settlement. Yeah, no, they sound awesome, but 50% chance. That sounds like a bad idea. We know what a medical bed is, don't we? Uh, I think we do know how to do a medical bed. But um, because we don't have um, complex furniture, it won't let us because that is a requirement. Sadly. So no no luck there. So this person hasn't been fed for a while. Again, that's a bug. I have to, I have to base, now that we have more food though, I can go ahead and do this again. And then just uh, clear all and meals. Okay. 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 Transport pod crash. What do we got? What do we got? Squirt. Uh, you are having a lot of your blood come out and you have an arm problem. Or at least there's a prosthesis on there. Psychically hypersensitive and absent-minded. Construction nine, cooking five, crafting five. That's actually not half bad. So I'm going to have Richie come here and stabilize Squirt. Hi, Dinah. What's up? Can, can I help you, cat? What's up? Uh, that Dinah's tail's in my way, so I can't, can't see shit. Keep cooking. Please and thank you. Hi. Boop. How do? What's up? What's up? Can I help you with something? Oh, you're sitting right in front of the monitor. Okay, I can't see a lot of it. I think she wants water. You need some water, don't you? I get you some water. Hang on. Your fresh water. Yeah. You come up here. I get you. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There she goes. Yeah, this is a good cat. Oh, you don't wait. You don't want water. Why? Why are you back over here now? I thought you wanted water. You were acting like you wanted the water. I just wanted to boop a microphone. All right. Well, I'll try to play around your ass. You need an ear scritch? Or is that what's important? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Is I forgot to tell them to actually put the food over here. Yeah, there we go. Because otherwise this person's basically going to starve to death and then we're never going to recruit them. Alright, Dinah, I do need you to either move off to the side or lay down not stand right in front of things one way or the other would do i don't know god damn it i don't know you know what magnus really needs more opium how do you i wonder how do i how do i make opium in this <laughs> i haven't played with this mod before so i don't know how to make opium Oh, Magnus is... Wait, am I up because someone put opium in me? Opium withdrawal. Where, where, where is it? Here, here, Magnus. Uh, take opium. Wait! <laughs> he had a mental break about binging on opium halfway through taking opium. <laughs> Idiot. 
Oh, God. All right, um, those animal wargs scare me. Zones. Grow zone. Let's put a big grow zone in. And, uh, is it, is it poppies? Okay. Um, yeah, vanilla factions expanded classical. Tiny cribs of flour that can be harvested for opium. Okay, uh, I guess plant some, plant some poppies. Oh, we forgot to bring Squirt in. Hang on. Curd, you're right here. <laughs> Rescue this guy. Okay, okay. Prisoners on recruit. Good. All right. Things are coming. <laughs> Putting things back together. I, th I think these things may have been eaten by wargs. No, they got all the coyotes are killing each other. Summer has begun, but winter is coming. It's eight degrees out it's during summer. That's that's phenomenal. A lot of dead coyotes out here, but it's free food. Not a lot of large, uh, I, I need like a herd of animals. There's a couple moose down there, but that's it. Uh, how hard are moose to tame? Doesn't seem difficult. How are we doing here? 25%, this stuff's barely grown. Ugh. I guess we'll just try eating coyote for a while. All right, this has been a bit of a rough stream so far. But we will, we will try. Everything's planted, we got the poppies growing. Let's see, six day grow time though, I don't know. <laughs> oh no. Uh, there are not enough green beans, not enough carrots. What makes this run Roman? We're using the vanilla expanded classical mod. Donna, you fucking around in the closet? Oh, there's some there's some nice stews. Hey, squirt. We okay? We got a new one. Good, 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 good. Um, okay, okay. Let's let's pick off the queue again. Squirt joined us. Another a new constructor. Now that we're doing a lot of constructing. Fitz, welcome to the colony. Uh, I would like you to come over here and equip a hammer. Can you walk? You can, you just defied my orders, you fuck. There you go. Good, good, good luck healing. So... We do have access to Sun Lamp. And we'll have geothermal power. No batteries, but we'll have geothermal power. So it will be possible to make a a interior grow zone that we can we can really operate. So that we could have year-round food growing. Psychic suppression f uh, for dark light. Let's send me to accept your responsibility for their transgressions. If you do, the persona will turn anger on you. Psychic suppression wave will reduce the consciousness of all males for five days. Uh, nah, no, not worth it. Rewards aren't good enough there. Holy shit. Well, I can walk again. I'm severely addicted to opium. And there's no opium left in the colony, so that's unfortunate. At least it's getting warmer outside. Oh, fuck. How'd I get this hot in here? 
How'd I get to 35 in here? Let's take that down. Yeah, we're doing 150% rewards. Same as always. I, only get it, I can only get it up to 28 in here. Oh, yeah, it's the geothermal. What is this? That is an iguanodon. All right, well, I'm going to eat it, so <laughs> that that's food. You're right, it's the vent. I was about to say, these can only get it up to 28, but uh, the vent's doing more. But we'll cap that off soon. And uh, we will also, what I could also do is just go ahead and tell them to do, at least put in like a passive cooler now. It's only, it's only eight outside, but it's 31 in here, so it's a little sweltery. Look at me moving around by myself now in my own lay. Oh, come on. Why are you having a wake-up binge? You're having a wake-up binge because of your opium addiction. And I OD'd. Alright. We have nothing to tame those with. Iguanodon, uh, haul that in so we can eat it. What a mess. What a mess. Sad wandering from observing a rotting corpse. Okay, we got a big herd of elk down here now. It might be worth doing a hunt. But a bunch of the people who are good at hunting are on mental breaks. Okay. How's my OD treating me? So... Not... <sighs> and worse. I, I, I've, I've, I've been in worse situations before. Alright. Stuff's growing well. That's good. I need to plant more heal root too, but I don't know how much we're gonna get how much it'll grow by the time the um the winter comes in though. There we go. Ooh. Magnus is no longer binging, yay. Still still minorly OD'd. Okay, we're gonna not we're gonna take this administer opium off of Magnus. At least I'm healing up. <laughs> There's that. Oh fuck. Yeah, is there any point is, is there any like most of the drugs there's an upside to. It seems like opium is really awful. a painkiller but man that addiction chance is basically yes okay when the sun so it's it's rainy fog at night so if i went hunting right now we never hit anything and i need i basically need to refill my meat locker for selling it's maybe i don't know how we doing on this, uh, convert, uh, down to 6.6, .6, getting there.
Well, I really need to hunt, but we're not going to hit anything right now if we do. But we are... But we are 100% out of food now, so if I don't... We're going to have problems, so I guess we'll just have to go down there and hope it doesn't... It, ho hope we do okay. No! <sighs> of course it went Manhunter on the first hit, too. Well, Austrian, you got armor on, so good luck. I didn't notice the bear down there until they had already fired it. Uh, fired um, a shot off, so all right. Just, uh, schoolyard bully formation, the bear. Oh, it went for Bakken. All right, no, we're good. All right, you go home. You guys, <laughs> you guys just keep going. We're good, we're good. This is fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. Jinxie, you got, oh, you got eaten too. So you go home too. All right, you too, keep going. That's good enough for now. There's a bunch down. There's there's some meat available now, and we injured some others. That's three big ones, and there's a couple bleeding out now. Okay, 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 okay. Wanderer joins. All right, let's see. What do we got? Sanguine Clumsy Gay. Actually, that's not bad. Sanguine ma makes it less likely to have a mental break, I think. Yeah, permanent mood effect plus 12. Shooting 10, melee 11, mining, and medical. So, McPherson, welcome to the colony. I don't have any food. And this is... Daddy. There we go. Welcome to the colony, Daddy. Alright, we'll, 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 we'll get some of this, uh... Some of this taken care of. You need to go lay down. Um, Curd, you need to take care of the... Oh, you're all the way the fuck out there. Curd, you need to go and take care of those guys. Um, Austrian, you need to... Solar Flare, okay, that's fine. Cement making rugs or espresso machine. Uh, okay, and Mad, welcome, welcome. Matasaurus, I'm gonna go with that. Espresso machine actually would be useful. I have power, so I can make use of the espresso machine. <laughs> All right, so nobody's bleeding anymore, but we still need to bring those uh, animal corpses in so we can get something to eat. All right, there we go. The Earl Grey hot. There we go. There we go. Uh, all right, cook, cook, do some cooking. There we go. There we go. Food. Are there mimes? Yeah, there are mimes. I don't know what the percentage chance of a wanderer being a mime is anymore. Uh, I would say 50-50. So it's possible they're mine. Must be pretty rare. Oh no, I got I get them all the time. I wouldn't say they're rare. All right, this guy died, and this guy died. So there's a little bit more to eat. Never got them. Do you, are you, you are you, a are you using the mob that has them and b do you have them turned on? <sighs> it's 
Forgot we still have gut worms. Just keep going. Alright. What do you mean you need material? Oh, Jinxie was cooking. Jinxie, what is your cook skill? No, Jinxie, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Um, okay, a couple of these people uh, haven't had their what's it called set yet. Uh, all right, Fitz, firefighting. Uh, put everybody's patient down. Haul up, Fitz. You are you are a cook and a construct. So construct, cook. That goes off. Um, you can craft. So put this down to like five. That could go to nine. Off, off. And then same thing here, eight and nine. Okay. Jinxie, firefighting. You do not need to be handling if you don't know what an animal is. You do not, definitely don't need to be cooking. Uh, I manual hunt. Don't need to be doing that on either of these two guys. Keep you on uh, helping out. I got a lot of, I got a lot of people with low level doctor skills. Mining, okay, so you're, wait, hey, it's, all right, Jinxie, it looks like you have no skills out. Okay, so what you're gonna be doing is cleaning and hauling then. There you go, cleaning and hauling. And uh, same, basically same thing here, only mining first. There we go. Okay, okay, this is fine. We, we, we got mildly eaten by a bear. And uh, apparently we somehow managed to get friendly fired in that fight too, because someone got shot in the ribs with a recurve bow. Or finish those off. Apparently a couple of them are bleeding out. So, you know, the, hunt, the hunting is, is it's just gonna keep going. And uh, thankfully a lot of the bodies are finally rotting. That's good to see. And it's it's a good good temperature for growing things finally. Oh fuck me. Feel a little <laughs> feel like we've rec we're starting to recover a little. Um, still not in a good place. Still, still got a lot of problems. Uh, what I can do now, though, is I, I think we've got a sol. Do we have a solar flare still? No, we don't. Um, irrigation, longbow, temperature control. Uh, this is vanilla fetching expanded classical as well. Basically, um, uh, uh, larger, more efficient, like fires and uh, passive coolers. Which, we have electricity now, but I don't have coolers, so I think I will research that. So, okay, power. We could put a geothermal generator. We have to take we have to take some stuff down. Let's try a ritual conversion. We haven't done that on we haven't tried that on Jinju. Oh come on! Get off my ass, Randy! Get off my ass! Doom! Four hives plus the one that was already in there. All right, that worked. That worked out pretty well. So Richie, do a conversion, a uh, regular conversion on Jidge now. There we go. Fuck me. I can't leave this either. It you you can't leave these. If you leave them, they just get worse. You have to do deal with them. Because <sighs> they do reproduce. So what I'm gonna need to do is mine this out, cut that, knock this wall down, and then come up here and deal with them. I got one dude wearing armor that I stole, so.
Oh, as long as it's not mining. It's them. How many days until they reproduce? Two, two, four, two. Okay. Oh, son of a whore. RimWorld EU4. <laughs> yes. RimWorld and EU4 loving this week of streams. Back to the old tried and true. All right, we'll reinstall this outside. Uh, there's apparently a dead elk right there. All right, so that's taken care of. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna mine out this little yeah, well, yeah, this is what we'll do. We'll mine this little spot out right here, basically, so that we can get in, get in there and fight. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. Magnus, how you doing? You know, just a little bit of opium problems in your life, but that's it. All right, and then we'll bust this wall down and we'll fight him here. Son of a bitch. Eh, eh, sorry, clicking on things. So Austrian, you, you need to basically take the front row here. Bakken, you go in the back. Okay, why does Bakken never want to re-up his ammo? All right, you go there. Jinxie, you go there. All right, Kurd. You're a melee specialist, but you're my doctor. All right, you've got a knife. You don't know what combat is, and neither do you really. You get in here too. Uh, we are to deconstruct this. Uh, Magnus, you do it. And what I'm gonna hope is that we can get uh, a lure in, basically. We can get someone to lure them over. There we go. We got a hit in. Oh, but it was probably one of the non-violent ones from this. Come on. Come on, guys. All right, all right, let's try this again. Move up a little, get a better shot here. They're not attacking. Here we go. Well, we got one. <laughs> okay, now, and my guys are not attacking them. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was weird. All right, well, uh, <laughs> um, do I got combat command on anybody? I thought I did. Combat command. Stand in the back and just yell at people. There we go. Okay, it's... Oh, fuck me. It's doing the thing where they just walk by us. Which has cost me entire colonies before. And my people are not... Uh, Look, seeing them as hostile. Okay, 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 okay. Now we're good, now we're good. 
Okay, okay, I was worried about that for a second. I've had that happen before where, you know, it, it just, they, they just walk, walk right past you and then go hostile, push all your people out of the way politely and then t try to kill you. I've had that happen before and it's horrible. All right, this guy's getting fucked up pretty good. So far, so good. The guys with the bows are having a lot of trouble, like, getting shots off. It's not, yeah, the tiny ones can sneak past, but I've had it. Bef I, I've had bugs before where the the insects, all of them, just walk past all of your people, and push them all out of the way, and then go hostile. The little ones can go between your feet, but I've had it where all of them do it. And you saw, you saw it before, we were having trouble where they were, um, uh, uh, not, my, my, they were attacking my guys, and my guys were just standing there going, not, not fighting back, or, you know, the guys were not shooting at them. The, the, for some reason, the bugs are weird to fight these days. Yeah, like right now, they're not looking at this one as hostile, even though he was attacking them. They were just standing there. Right, that one, they are good. Part, I think part of the issue is that this is from a cave, and this is from, these four are from the, um, the event. And the one from the caves uh, act a little bit differently. See? Fitz, maybe you, maybe you hang out there. Okay. Uh, you guys, you gotta come in here and bash all these up now. Is there another one back there? There is. It's a little guy, though. Alright. Well, the cave system is open to us now. And we have some, uh, delicious insect jelly we could eat. Oh, god, one of them got up. Ah, he's gonna bleed out. Uh, I can butcher, I mean, in a pinch, I can eat the bugs. Yeah, fell down. And is this one injured? No, it was just, it was just hanging out. I don't have to worry about the cave system anymore. Bugs are taken care of now. Okay, okay. Sorry, Fitz. Uh, looks like we ran out of normal beds. Just eating raw insect meat because we have no other food. Fuck me. Well, we got some food growing. How are my, uh, my potatoes? Not great. Poppies are coming. Ugh. We gotta get an interior grow zone. I think that's what like all of our initial power is gonna have to go into is getting an interior grow zone to get a source of, l l like just just crank on rice for a while. I know what is up with you. You're just hanging out all day today. What are you doing? Hi, 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 hi. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. We don't need this little uh, wall in there anymore. All right, well, Austrian, do me a favor and just start butchering these things. It's fine to just run through that. All right. All right. Unforbid everything. 
Okay, uh, this needs to get taken down. It's in the way. Because we are going to actually put in our geothermal generator now. So we we are going from, like, little, sh little crappy shack right into geothermal generator. <laughs> That'll give us some power. No batteries, but at least it's a source of power I don't have to be super concerned about. Alright, there we go. Hey, and we broke, we finally broke Naharis' resistance, too. Okay, excellent, excellent. So, let's, um... First things first, we'll... We'll do this. Ooh, uh, I haven't smoothed this area out over here, so we'll stop it right there. And we'll start we'll, we'll start converting some things to electricity. Okay, feeling a little better. Let's make some stews. I wish I could make some kibble out of those, but uh, I don't have... Oh, come on. Oh, no, a mech hive. Okay, okay, it's all... It's all ranged mech, so they, I, I'll, I'll bum rush them. And we'll schoolyard bully formation them. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's get everybody together over here. No one's really chasing me down. Is that one trying to get me into melee? Alright, everybody get your melee weapons out. Please and thank you. Chasing down Kurd. I don't know why it's not trying to stab me. Punched me in the jaw. Okay, okay, now it's it's changed its mind now. After it punched, it, it just wanted to make it personal. It punched us in the face. And then it decided it wanted to shoot us. Alright, wait for it to get around the corner here. And then everybody just run in a circle and... What is this guy doing? He's fine. Alright, go get him! <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, one down, one down, one down. Two to go. This is fine, this is fine. I love, I love those little spitting the weapon flourishes, those are cute. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. We're gonna have a couple run out here and take care of it and pin that one down. And then everybody else goes gets this one. All right, all right, there we go, there we go. Get him, get him, bash his little legs off. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. We're good, all is well. All is well. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Yeah. Yeah, eating that insect, the insect, raw insect meat is probably not good for you. We got Car War Merchant coming on in. What do you, what do you got? Some interesting looking animals. Got like a big old burb. Got a mega wolverine. Alrighty, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. And we got an infection. From what? Oh. 
We got a from a mega scarab bite. Okay. Um, well, I guess we'll do one industrial doodly there. And see if that's enough to get us over the hump. 100% 10. And then we'll go back down to herbal. Okay. And maybe if we're lucky, we can buy some meds. Uh, they've got 15. Good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I can sell off some insect jelly. Not much in here. Let's see. That's bio coated. Short bows we can get rid of in the Pila. Old double action revolver. We'll keep that. Keep the musket. Keep some of the rest of that stuff. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. You could have the booze. I don't need that. Low quality weapons. You could have that. All right, that, that's, that's fine. They don't really have much that I'm interested in, but getting a little bit of meds is good. That is helpful. All right, heal root's 60% grown, so that's coming along. Uh, I'm going to expand this zone out. Forgot to do that earlier. Daddy, what's wrong with you? Food poisoning. Still got gut worms and an infection. Um, I'm gonna have people bed rest now, actually. God damn it, just keeping people fed is such a goddamn hassle because I can't get a good supply of meat in here because we keep getting shit on. If I could just go out there, do a big bulk hunt, get a ton of meat in all at once, and just do that every like week or so, that would be perfectly fine. But we haven't been able to do that. Using durability matters mod? Uh, no, I don't believe so. But I am using uh, Yeo's combat, which makes durability on armor matter a lot more. All right. Um. You three, come over this way. We need to go hunting again. Can't, I haven't been able to, to go hunting while it's not, like there's never been good weather either. <laughs> it's always raining or foggy. All right, two me's down. Two me's, two elk. Haul all those in. New recruit. Okay, Naharis is out of there now. No more prisoners. Naharis, you're getting named. Dinah, can you please get out of the way? Hey, don't hiss at me. Uh, I can't, she, she, Diana is covering up, like, half my UI and all of the chat, so I need to move her. Uh, let's see. Perturb. Perturby. Welcome to the colony. Alright, uh, you like to kill things. Do I know how to make, um, like, ammo for a musket? I would imagine it would be in here. No, I don't. Um, probably would need to figure out how to make the musket before we can make ammo for the musket. I would guess. But we could use some more just regular weapons. Like I'm thinking maybe some maces or something like that. Some blunt weapons. Uh, let's bring in a couple of those. We'll make them out of uranium. There we go. All right, all right, all right. 
And you also need to be told how to behave. So animal handling you can do. And we got a lot of people who are perfectly capable of doing menial labor. Delightful. All right, uh, we should start working on power crafting spots. Well, yeah, I know you can make primitive ammo from the crafting spots, but I would imagine you would not be using a crafting spot for ammo for the entire game. You do primitive explosive ammo. Is that is that count as uh, muskety? But I don't have any chem fuel anyway. Looks like all primitive ammo comes from here, though. Used for explosive flame and smoke damage type weapons. Does a musket count as explosive? Honestly, I have no idea. Alright. You! Stop being infected. Cook. Insect meat rotted away is fine. Just give, just make me some meals, please. Just make some meals. There we go. Just get some people fed. Fitz, what's your cook? Five? Okay, you're getting up there. Six is where you need before you're very... Before you're less likely to really poison people. So we're almost there. Food binge! Oh, do you still have um, gut worms? Still got, still got gut worms! Yay! And we do, or we are starting to fill up our meat drying area. That's good. That's what we want to see. All right, all right. Progress is being made. Progress is being made. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is uh, try to get some more. electric lights uh, in the base. So we don't have to worry about constantly refilling uh, torches and such. Let's put a couple of those around. Musket is primitive ammo. But pri what primitive, what type of primitive ammo? Is it primitive explosive ammo? Because from my, I would assume Maybe, but it says used for ranged flame and smoke damage type weapons. To me, an explosive weapon is like a fire pot, not a musket. But uh, it uh, it probably is this one. It just doesn't seem like it based on the description. Hey, we got some lights up. That was quick. Uh, that was the marble wall. All right, torch. Torch lamp, torch lamp, torch lamp. Torch lamp. Torch lamp. Get rid of those. Progress is being had. And new research project. Uh, beacons. What is a beacon good for? Guarantees to guarantees to summon friendly reinforcements. That's pretty amazing. Do I know? I do not know what pants are. Auto doors are super good too, though. Um, God, I'm gonna actually go with the beacon. Uh, <laughs> li lighting the beacon sounds like a really good thing to be able to do. All right, any there's some good gigantelopes around, but these things are actually kind of tough, and I have noticed them go manhunting kind of readily. Uh, there's a moose and some elk down here left, though. So that's an option for me. Hey, we got electricity. We got electric lights, though. That's that's delightful. Um, you're still healing up. You almost done with the gut worms, and we still need more fucking food. We <laughs> we almost have some green beans and some carrots. The potatoes are coming along nicely too. How how about a little bit of med? Seventy percent. I like that. Opium, opium's like half, halfway through our crop of opium. Um, all right, you get you, you four, come down here. 
We're gonna get- oh, that one's- okay, this one- this one's dead. Will someone come get that? I need meat! I meant for them to get the elk, but they went for some of the other things, too. Alright, cool. Finish that off. Make sure we get the bunny. Uh, we should probably avoid the bear. There's the other moose. And then the other the big guys are over here. Hey, look at that. We got some carrots. Theoretically, I can tame and slaughter these then. Because they're not terribly difficult to tame. Now that I have some delightful carrots. Beautiful. Well, that gives you the, the status bar on the illness. As I have 69 colonists with sensory mechanites. So it would be cool to know how much longer they have. Um, Are you talking about like so that you can see the... Um... Oh, do any of them still have it or they all just get over it? But it, it changes this screen right here. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Does anybody remember what that's called off the top of their head? It's a mod that changes up this UI section. So that it displays information easier. Uh... I don't remember what the name of that mod is. It's on the list. Uh, it is just base primitive explosive ammo is for the fire pots and other throw. It is just base primitive ammo. Explosive is for fire pots and other thrown grenades. Com com compact compact head is probably it. Yes, it is just the base primitive ammo. Oh, are you saying this one? Okay, so so. A musket could theoretically be used to fire an arrow. We could try that. Um, uh, Magnus, come over here and grab a musket. Let's let's see what do. Ah, there we go. Wooden bullets it is. All splintery and whatnot. We have a gun. <laughs> we have a gun we can maintain. Bakken, you're getting the longbow now. Cool. Um, and you could equip that. Everybody could have one, I guess. There we go. There we go. Delightful. Cool, cool, cool. Tight, 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 tight. Oh, what now? Oh, it's just a stash. All right. Feel a little bit better. Things are, things are picking up. Things are picking up. Okay, um, what else do what else can we do? So we could replace the stove with an electric stove. We could replace this smitty with an electric smitty. Curd, can you do me a favor and finish what you were doing here? It's making a mace. Then we'll take that down. Nice! Excellent quality uranium mace. That's actually pretty good. Uh, Perturb, you need a... Uh, a melee weapon. Daddy, you need a melee weapon, so you guys can have those. Oh, I got some information about my, um, my doodly. The 12 tables. Wouldn't bullets sound like they'd fracture pound firing and just dozens of pellets flying at someone would sound painful? I would imagine not that they would not just fracture, that a wooden bullet would just disintegrate into dust and nothing would come out. Like, like, I would imagine if you tried firing a wooden bullet at somebody, you would need to fire it so close that the that any potential damage would be caused by burns from, from the expanding gases rather than the bits of wood. All right. Oh, fucking man-hunting coyotes. All right, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Fucking hell, Austrian. 
You know the routine. Get Go stand in front of the door. I had to play with my musket at least. Uh, does anybody else have a range? Yes, you. Well, right, you just use wooden bolts. Well, yeah, Count, but we're talking more like a, you know, like a 17th century musket firing, <laughs> you know, with a buttload of black powder. Not not like a, a low velocity riot gun built to, you know, fire less than lethal projectiles. And I missed. Ah, that one hit. Hi, Dinah. We shall. We shall. Oh, God. Oh. All right, so far, so good. As long as it wasn't the eyeballs. No, I didn't get shot in the eyeballs yet. All right, almost lost an arm though. Okay, please, please, okay, please don't get, please don't get bit on the left arm again. Okay, we're good. Son of a bitch! What in the motherfuck? You couldn't have come one, one minute earlier. You could have fought each other. It's a drop raid too. It's a it's kind of substantial one. No! Uh, incendiary launcher, shotgun, grenades. No! Flashbangs. Oh my god. Look at all that meat. Uh, it's actually very, 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 very little meat because most of them rotted. And coyotes are not that big. So that's that that might be like one day's worth of food. And the door is blocked open now. Um, okay, so finish these off. Yeah, so we've got right now it looks like two. Yeah, only two of those are edible. At least they're not attacking immediately. That's that's ten. Okay, we because some of our guys are injured, and that's ten people with guns. So first things first, I need to get the door cleared. If only we knew how to light a beacon. Don't worry, I got a musket now. These guys don't stand a chance. Uh, I've got a free bear. That's nice. Bears are fun. Okay, the, do the door has been unblocked at least. That's good. Uh, where is Curd? Curd's taking care of the injured. Alright, we'll just give these guys a, um... Bakken, uh, you're trying to get all the way over here to tame a Gigantalope. No, we don't need to be doing that right now, so cancel that. Uh, any of these guys got ranged weapons? Kind of. I mean, I could, I could have Bakken come over here and try to get a um, some pot shots off with a bow. Like my best fucking shot. Oh, oh, he's leaving. And he's like my best shot, and longbows have good ranged accuracy. Son of a fuck!
Three misses. Four misses. Oh. There we go. That's a hit. That's a hit. Okay, knock that guy's arm off with a longbow. Okay, which one? Which group? Okay, that the other group is beginning their assault. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Or is it all of them? Is it all of them? All right, my plan is to bum rush them basically and hope for the best. Oh, come on! You stupid idiot! <laughs> Fucking moron! <laughs> All right, guys, get over here. Who's got combat command? Like a bunch of them do, actually. Hey, I shot that guy with the musket. That felt good. Right in the leg hole. Shoot all right, all right. So several of them are dead. This guy's getting getting dongled. Blood for the blood god. Blood for the blood god. Then we we hit that one. Yeah, we hit that one. Uh, you come, uh, Daddy. You go get. Uh, yeah, ba bashy, bashy. Oh, that guy's got EMP grenades. Those aren't gonna do jack shit. I don't have any brain implants to worry about. Ooh, some of these guys have organs worth thieving, though. So there's that. Also, this guy is. F oh, oh, he's. Uh, I was wondering how he wasn't down yet, considering we destroyed his torso and shattered his pelvis. High on Yayo. Yay! Oh! All right, group one is leaving. That was the bigger group. Oh! Oh no, my bear friend! Oh my god, that guy got shot in the brain by me. Got musketed in the brain hole. All right, this one's getting eaten by a bear. All right, all right. Um, you guys come over here, I guess, and shoot him in the ass. And Sabale, welcome. Oh, okay. That could have gone so much worse. How's my bear? Uh, got auto pistoled in the neck, but is all right. All right, you, um, Yuri. Ah, uh, no organs worth thieving. Vat grown Yuri the Vat grown glitter world officer. Incapable of dumb label carrying social martial artist nimble. Uh, uh, honestly, I have more people than I could feed right now is the thing. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got ten people. But he's so good. None of the other ones are alive. Okay, um, capture Yuri. Who shot him in the spine? Oh god, so I shot Yuri in the spine with a musket ball. And the other dude in the brain with a wooden musket ball. What's up, Dinah? Also, an animal transport pod crashed over here. And it's a pterodon. I will eat it. Okay, 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 okay. This is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, we need a... 
We can make an espresso machine now. Forgot about that. Um, an animal sleeping spot inside for the bear. I don't know where the bear is. Okay, this is fine. Uh, oh, there he is. Bear friend getting tended. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna we're, we'll we'll train the bear up. Bear's a good pet. We'll name the bear because why not? Why would you ever not name a pet bear? Lord. There we go. Cause Lord. We'll go with Lord. We got a new prisoner, Yuri, uh, who needs to be converted. Oh, do you need out, Dinah? Okay, do you need a pool? I think Dinah needed to poop because she was meowing at the door. Alrighty. Uh, you know what I have been forgetting to do again is have Richie go hit Jidge with a Bible. 36%. We're making progress. Uh, all these need to get um, moved out. Fitz, uh, if you could come over here and start butchering those, please. I'd appreciate it. Yeah. So, for 47. So, yeah. We're, we're going to get, you know, 150-ish meat from, from three coyotes. That's, you know, breakfast for the colony. Alrighty. Cool, 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 cool. Tight, 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 tight. Austrian. Yeah, you got all fucked up. Intense pain, rotting corpses, rebuffed by Bach and slept in the heat. Still hot as fuck in here. Um, I don't think there's much. Oh, actually, the large passive... We did get the access to the large passive cooler. Oh, and the ceiling fans are available now. Those would actually be very useful to me at the moment. Couple ceiling fans. A, they provide light, and B, they provide cooling. So we'll, we'll, we'll bracket the thingy with some ceiling fans. Prisoner food stockpile. Oh, yeah, you're right. That would be good. Uh, so we can just go doot. Preferred. Clear. Meals. Here we go. How are these doing? 20 hours. And look at the, the metery is finally filled. That's good. Disease. Yuri's got an infection. Uh, unfortunately, it's his torso. Jid, you're uh, not a very good doctor. Curd, can you do me a favor and tend? There we go. Boom. We do have some heal root coming. And we got a little bit of summer left. It looks like we will get some potatoes this growing season. That's good. Not bad, not bad. I'm happy to see nobody has any uh, gut worms anymore. That's finally gone. The fuck was that? <laughs> what, the, what the fuck was that? All right, ceiling fans and light. There we go, a little bit of cooling. Oh, there's a bug in here, hang on. Um, Go, go, sma go smash that thing. Where the fuck that come from? There we go. Chase, nah. Large passive cooler to keep food frozen. That's the idea, but right now, we got a lot of pro. Well, actually, we have less problems now. We could actually start progressing. There's less to be concerned about at the moment. There's definitely less to be concerned about. I think what we'll do is, for now, uh, I'm just going to carve out a little area right here to put food in. Because, honestly, the base is fucking hideous. Um, we'll put the, the large passive cooler in there and see how well it does and put all the food in there. And theoretically, that should give us refrigeration. I'm probably upset from the lack of opium. Yep. Lack of opium is upsetting me. 
And look at that. We got we got peas and carrots. Delightful. Alright. Uh Gigantelope. There's some meese out there. We can ask him to try to tame a couple mooses. Inspired uh, research, that's fine. We are working on the beacons now. I'll try to set up a beacon so that the next time we get attacked, we can light them and um, see if Gondor comes to help. It's like this area does actually need to be roofed. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's a natural cave formation back there. Open addiction or going completely through withdrawal. Uh, well, right now I don't have any opium to give to him, so <laughs> the the only option is to go through withdrawal. All right, so now all we need to do is put a door in, and we can try out the large passive cooler and see how it does. We can also, uh, production, do an electric stove now. And what I'm just gonna do is copy these and paste them onto there and then I'll move it around. Get those moved out. Austrian, how you doing? You're okay, Yuri. Looks like you'll survive. Man, I honestly, I wasn't expecting that musket to be super effective, like right off the bat, but I basically one shot two people. One dude got shot in the spine, one dude got shot in the brain. Farming techniques is animal feeder and scarecrow. Siege equipment gives me ballista and catapult. Basic electronics gives me, like, a television. Um, and Jordan Jr., welcome, welcome. Honestly, I'm not super interested in either of these right now, so I think I'll do farming techniques to get a quick reroll. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Feeling a little better, and those potatoes are coming too. Got a little bit of industrial ammo now, a little bit of explosive ammo, a little bit of spacer ammo. Probably gonna need some more primitive ammo. Uh, I do have, is that, I do have some shotguns in here, which I wouldn't mind handing out. I'm really thinking if we're gonna use any of our ammunition, we wanna use the ammunition that doesn't fly through it too quickly. All right, now we can get rid of this. And then we can just reinstall this here. We don't need the well anymore, honestly. We can get rid of those. To clean it up a bit. All right, how cold is it in there? It's chilly. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put the food in there. Okay, okay. That's excellent. Uh, this should be food. <laughs> I think they're just putting a lot of random crap in there. I think I did the wrong. I think I did the wrong thingy. Food goes in there. Random crap does not. Glitter, glitter will one colonist for six days. I will accept that. One colonist for six days for some glitter tech meds. Yes, please. Airlock. Oh yeah, an airlock here would not be a bad idea given the fact that we don't have a lot of like spare cooling. All right, um, daddy. Like, like one of the people who's not doing too much work right now. You, get in the shuttle. Woo! There's a big boy dinosaur out there. All right, fuck the Mies. Uh, there's a Diplodocus. That will provide me with tons of meat. All right, Austrian, go tame a Diplodocus, please. Oh, there's yaks, too. Come on. You know you love carrots, friend. 31% chance is not bad. Uh, all right, make sure that, let's see, handler, Bakken, you're a five. I'm gonna turn that off of you for now. 
And let's make sure that nobody's on Glitter Tech. Nobody's on Glitter Tech. Good. Poppies are coming along. They're starting to bloom. And look at this. The, tr the, the tree's at 16 Anima Grass. That's pretty good. So we'll try to get a free uh, Diplodocus down there. And we can, we actually have a freezer, another transport pod crash, hard worker, kind, social, intellectual. Mm, I'm kind of good. Hard worker and kind are decent traits though. Global work speed 20%. But I'm kind of good. Do it. Again, I'm not interested really in increasing the size of my colony right now. Drug production. Please. I think I'm just going to let that person die. New social role guy. I already got Curd. Or not Curd. I'm sorry, Richie. Richie's fine. Save him and banish someone who's terrible. I don't really have anybody in my colony that's terrible. I just don't need them. I don't need a new social guy. I don't need... Oh, I want Catatonic in the bathtub for opium withdrawal. I just... He doesn't have a skill set that I require right now. And given the fact that I'm not super interested in increasing the size of the colony. Oh, I got a yak. I didn't even notice that. And we've got a man, we got a mad meese. Uh, well, does anybody want to shoot a meese? Free food. Um, actually, some of that clothes ain't too bad. We'll strip them down. Strip. Yuri, how you doing? You feeling good? You're not dead. Eat non-cannibal food? Wait, what? Ah. Don't don't leave my musket in the tub, god damn it. I don't want to get that thing wet. You can make some clothes. I don't really know what clothes are. The best I could do is like a pelt coat and some rags. That's that's about the gist of what we could manage. The Notorious Black Hulk Buffalo. This guy's name is Hulk Buffalo. That's an interesting name. If we cleared their camp, this guy would join us. Quick sleeper, pyromaniac, shooting, cooking, artistic. Meh. Meh. There's another yak. Excellent, excellent. Alrighty. Uh, well... Base is starting... I think we might need to start thinking about permanent base, like, location. Because we're getting to the point where we have the material and we have the labor. We could start laying out actual rooms. And given the fact that we're bumped right up against the mountain, we're probably just going to be going straight into the mountain. Yeah, Mr. Biggs, what's up? Hey, buddy. You want to come say hi? Oh, he's a big cat. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, I think he wants some food. He's just getting hungry. I think Mr. Bear's getting hungry. How you doing, bud? He's like, just give me food and a place to poop and I'm happy. You good boy? He's a good boy. 
Oh, he's a good boy. All right. Uh, condiment prep table, espresso machine. Uh, we wanted to do some sort of indoor grow area. We can do electric butcher. Electric smitty. The electric stone cutting table. Those are all um, viables. Bings, you kind of stink. Did you ha did you fart? I can see you build the base like the guinea pig one. I mean, I haven't built this base like anything yet. The guinea pig base was extensive. Actually, I don't think it was anything like this one because if I remember correctly, that one we started out in the open. We weren't, we didn't have a mountain there, but then there was a mountain a little way off to the side that we dug into to put our reactor in there. But that one I started with a like a big circle in the middle, I think. Uh, where do we, how do we want to start this? I think, honestly, what we might end up doing is just driving a, um, like, uh, a, what's it called? Like a tunnel back into the mountain and start working off from that. Oh, buddy, you just want to, you just want to hang out here, don't you? Who's a good boy? Oh, who's a good cat? Meh. Unfortunately, my best miner is me, and I'm down with... Uh, I'm catatonic at the moment. But yeah, I think we should start thinking about that. Um, all right, I think what I'm going to do... Is kind of... Go like this. We'll go three wide, kind of straight. That's... I want it over more. And we'll start on this side. Kind of want it to go to right in, right in about this region and drive a thingy back. And for now, what I'll do is I'll access it through a little a little thingy there. I'll pro this isn't going to be this this won't we'll, we'll get backfilled later, but for now it's fine. Uh, and what I am going to do is tell him to go ahead and put a door on there in case any bugs spot in there when I'm working on it. Oh, poppies are at 80%. Beautiful. All right. Uh, try to get my Diplodocus too recently. The yaks seem pretty easy. It's a shame. No, I, I really wanted those anima yaks before, um, and we didn't have any food to tame them with. Oh, there's another one. Uh, now we have the food and there's no anima yaks. There's just regular ones. But for now, we'll just keep them back here, uh, grazing on this grass. And later on, we will probably butcher them. I can definitely do this now, though. Uh, we could say, do until you have a couple stews sitting around. Same, do until you have... We could, we could tell them to really start cranking meals. Because we have a way of, of, of preserving them now. So just go. Should driving an access tunnel into your base be the best solution as anything can attack, but if your access tunnel is connected to the outside, separates the risk between bases. What? <laughs> I'm not follow I'm not following what you're trying to say there, honestly. That doesn't need to be there. That doesn't need to be there. I'm not gonna get rid of all of them though. Potatoes, 98%. Beautiful. We're going to have potatoes. Oh, actually, I already have some potatoes. 500 potatoes. Beautiful. Yeah, I think what we'll do is uh, st start getting this tunnel working, and then what we'll do is we'll start building rooms off of that. Uh, and I think this is going to kind of depend on Magnus, honestly, because... That's my best miner, I believe. Mining 11 with Groundbreaker. Ooh, 
Ooh, we got some, we got berries out there too. Uh, select things on map, harvest. Yes, get some berries too. Outpost, I have not done the outpost thing yet, no. Uh, I honestly just haven't played a lot of RimWorld since that came out. But I do have it installed, so we'll have the option. Um, do you guys have picks? You got a pick. I think I have an extra pick. I do have an extra pick. That's Magnus's pick, but equip as side army, not using it. Let's move these out. Hey, bear friend. Oh, what a handsome boy. Oh, Binks, do you, do you need to get out too? Jesus Christ. Go ahead, buddy. All, all the pets are abandoning me. Oh, it's because it's dinner time. It's dinner time, so all the pets are abandoning. All right, well, they're making progress. Poop time or dinner time, or both. Both is a, is a valid option. Hey, oh, we got our Diplodocus. That's gonna be a fair bit of meat. Score, ooh, ooh. Portable field artillery piece, which demo, uh, doubles as a semi-automatic heavy crossbow. That sounds pretty nifty. All right, scorpion time. Hey oh, and Yuri's been converted. All right, Yuri, prisoner, recruit. We might actually need more room over here. Especially once we start, like, murdering Diplodocai. Diplodocuses? Neither of those sound right. Uh, and I don't have a lot of storage room left, so I'm going to do a stockpile zone out here. Preferred for blocks, stone blocks, and for now that's it. Potatoes are delicious. Jinxie is missing a knife. Don't care about it, though, so let's just get rid of that. All right. Uh, we are also going in production. I'm going to put in the electric smitty again. We, gotta do, we could do uh, brewery. We could do drug lab. Electric drug lab condiment. I don't think there's any condiments I can make. Ooh, we got an erotic goods trader. I'll put it in the condiment station just in case. We'll see what comes in. Uh, I have a very small amount of money, so this might be feasible. Uh, Warden, that's gonna be Richie, because I'm unconscious. So about the airlock of the freezer, do you feel it's necessary? You're gonna see how it goes. Oh, right now it's not necessary. It's frozen in there with no problem. But um, actually, yeah, considering it doesn't really get that hot on this map, I don't think it's gonna be an issue. All right, all right, all right, all right. What do you guys, what do you guys got? You can have my elephant tusk. Skill trainer social. Blueprints. Lion pelt medical book. Maps. Ammo. Oh, they don't really have much. They do have a psychic cornucopia. That actually would be very useful to me. Considering the fact that it's very difficult for us to grow anything. Being able to just bamf things into existence would be good. Uh, it's the end of summer. So now might not be the time to do it. Might be it might be a time it might be better to do it next year. Probably would be good to keep that and get, do use it next year. Uh there's not much in here I'm super interested in, honestly. Light leather growing book, medical book, medical book. Deft jump packs. Well, the thing about the jump packs is that that's just the tech print for them. 
I might not get I might not be able to get the research to utilize that for 40 or 50 hours of gameplay. <laughs> I think I'm just going to take the psychic cornucopia and um Be warmed up. Farming outpost. It takes three quadrums for the resources to be finished. Okay, that's a little ways. Let's see. I need to sell something. Uh, all, all I have is those new animals. So you could, you, I guess you could have half my axe. And I will take the Psychic Corticopia. I think what we're going to do is because a lot... Well, it, there's not a lot of grow time left. And it only brings it up to 90%. I would really want it to go to 100. I think the best thing to do would be to hold it for next season. Wait for everything to get planted but not grown at all. Immediately use it. And that way we can try to get two okay grow seasons in, in one season. You know, two okay growth... Um, like cycles in in one season now i don't think i can make anything here yet no not yet well i could turn rocks into salt Confused you. Sold the young yaks, kept the old ones. Uh, I'm not breeding them. I'm eating them. I do not have the capacity to keep them through the long winter yet. So I'm only taming them to eat them. So I don't care about their age right now, honestly. Because <laughs> what's going to happen is once the... Um, once the winter sets in and the grass dies, they're just going to get slaughtered. You're using taming to hunt? Uh, well, I guess you could put it that way. And, uh, t taming and slaughtering is more efficient than hunting because you get significantly more meat from slaughtering than you do from hunting. So whenever, also it's safer. So if you have good animal people, it's always better to tame an animal rather than to hunt it. Um, I guess we could go for the electric butcher table, too, so we could get rid of this one. So, production, electric, that's drug lab, butcher table. And we want to make it out, yeah, we'll make it out of bronze, just for lulz. Bronze butcher table. I've got the bronze sitting around, so might as well make use of it. It'll look fancy, hopefully. Looks like wood. All right. Butcher creature. Do forever. And we'll just take this radius down to like 45. There we go. All right. It is dark in here as well, which we don't necessarily want. So I'm going to put a standing lamp in there. Yeah, because... Um, when you, when you injure an animal, you're reducing the amount of leather and meat you get from it. So the more injured it, injured it is, the less meat you're getting. And then on top of that, so, so if you're slaughtering, you're getting 100%, where you'd be getting reduced amount based on how much damage the actual hunt did. But there is also an added bonus to butchering animals of, I think, 20%. So not only are you not getting the negative for damaging the animal, you're also getting a positive modifier for for slaughtering over hunting. So there's a significant amount of a meat and leather difference in slaughtering over, over hunting. Alrighty, it's coming along. Let's get uh, this stuff hauled out of the way. Fucking psychic drone. I for some reason all assume the game gave X amount uh, per type of Y animal. Thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. There, there's <laughs> there's a lot of things in this game where it's like a lot of little minute 
mechanics working together. And uh, the other thing is that uh, a butcher, the amount of meat and leather gathered is also modified by the skill of the butcher. And that's all uh, uh, another situation where a lower to mid range butcher will get a meat reduction. And then you can, and then as the skill goes up, it goes up to a hundred. So like if you're hunting, say you're like hunting an animal and you damage it a bunch and then you go and you butcher it with like a middling, like, like a skill level four or five or six or something like that person, you're probably going to be losing like 40% of the meat somewhere around there. Animal skill for butchering? I don't think so. I think it's cooking skill. I don't think animal skill has any bearing on that. Let's see. So loud skill here is cooking. Also, we did run out of room in here, so we are gonna need some more storage. So we'll just use uh, some slate thingies. Do a couple of these. Free up some room. Cagapods, what do we get? And it's a bunch of shields, okay, whatever. 17 animal grass. Oh my god. Oh, it's a bounty is what it is. Oh, I, I, I was snorting it straight off the leaves. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, excellent. Excellent. All right, I'm feeling better now. We're feeling better. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. No, no, don't you guys worry. I'll, I'll gather it up. I'll gather it up. I got this. Don't you worry. Let's see, uh, 15th of Jaugust is at 84% on some of those. We did get a little bit of heal root as well. Not much, but some. Good. Excellent, excellent. I also lost a pickaxe, so I need a new one. Uh, pick. Make a new pickaxe. And uh, I guess just steal. So people only uh, recently understood slash began to use this uh, uh, tame overkill. I don't think a lot of people understand the relationship between uh, like like the efficiency over like um, tame slaughter over hunt. Because a lot of people don't bother doing like ranching tasks, they they think it's a waste of time. There was a there was a very common belief in the RimWorld community for a very long time that there was no point ever in ranching, that it was always better to just it was always more efficient to just send your people out to um uh, uh send your people out to hunt. Taming also costs food. it does, but it's minuscule. It's tiny. It's a small little amount. Especially if you have kibble, which costs like, like, like a lot of times is is scraps you would not be using anyway. It's also more micro. I wouldn't say tame, tame and slaughter is more micro at all. Uh, I I found um, hunting. Be, be, well, the way I hunt is more more micro because I don't trust my people to auto hunt. It leads to too many problems, so I turn hunting off and I manually hunt if I have to hunt. But I mean, like the the prairie, the, the little pasture is set up. That's auto, so I could just come in here and hit tame. So that's just one click, and people will automatically go out there, grab food, tame them, and then bring them back into here. And that's completely off my plate. I don't have to do anything else. And then the only thing I have to do is decide when to take them down. Just come in here and uh, come in here and hit the slaughter button. And do it all with two clicks, basically. All right. Um, copy. Paste. 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 Excellent. How is, do we, uh, do we get this bad boy, um, trained at all? He's got guard trained. Okay, that's something. It's progress. So 
So like, um, if you if you don't have, I will say this though, if you don't have somebody with good animal skill, then no, taming's not t taming slaughtering is not going to be good because they're going to be out there a long time, constantly failing, not getting anything to um, uh, uh, to show for it. But if you have someone with a good skill, and you have the food available, it is far more beneficial to to tame slaughter. So it's going to be situational. It's going to be what what skills do you have available? What resources do you have available? But if you can pull it off, it's better to do it this way. I don't do we do we want to keep smoking the meat honestly? We could turn the meat smoker off at this point. Because we do have a way of preserving our food more efficiently now. We'd also crank on stews more. We make more stew pots. Oh, I was wondering where there, why there was so much heat in my main base. The stew pots crank out a fuck ton of heat as well. So that was where some heat was coming from too. Fuck it, eat my rabbit, eat my opium. Elk out there. We got some meese. All right, now we're good. We are good on food right now. That is delightful. Yeah, excellent. All right. Uh, storage is on preferred. It's on normal. Micro, the, the, uh, the actions have to do it. The stream is notorious for getting little things like that. I don't, I don't, I don't think remembering to do something counts as micro. See, my, micro to, like, my definition of micro is you, you have to dig into the, you know, the, the, the minutia of the game and do something a lot manually. That, to me, is the definition of, of micro, is having to manually do a lot of small tasks. But this is, this is more macro. This is, I have set up a system and I can manage it with a minimum amount of clicks. Also, we've got a strange asteroid. Not a big deal, though. Ooh, these guys are all clumped up. Do we want to go hunt them? Like, like some animals, I don't care about, you know, you know, that are more difficult to tame. Like, the animals that have higher wildness. Fuck them. Just go hunt them. But, like, yeah, things like yaks and mufflows are super easy to tame. Yeah, go get them. Go, go, do, go do the thingy. Beautiful. Making some good progress in here now. Gonna go basically all the way to the back, and then we'll start working back to front. If you're able, uh, basically, if you're able without generating a loss in terms of hay on sea ice, just hunt. Well, I mean, <laughs> I don't think very many people play on sea ice, honestly. But I, I. I in the situation I'm in, like, I have a very brief growing season. Um, the food is pretty, like, like the, the food is pretty hard to come by. Not sea ice hard to come by. But if, if you're on sea ice, I, I think you've got other things to worry about. Sea ice, well, I mean, if you're on sea ice without mods, you're not going to have any animals worth taming anyway. Some of the mods I'm using it, uh, add some larger tameable creatures to sea ice. So I see the fish or something. Yeah, and even fishing, that requires mods too. Which I think is, I feel, I, the fact that fishing is not in the base game, I think is a little strange. Fishing, that seems so simple. Like, um, in the, even on this map, I wasn't taming for a while because we didn't have food to tame with. There was a lot of large animals on the map, perfectly capable, you know, easy to tame. I didn't have any veg because our grow seasons were shit and everything we had, we had eaten immediately. There was no extra for taming. But now we are in a situation where there was uh, a fresh harvest and animals on the map at the same time. Another hunt, not doing it. 
All right, can we make anything armor-wise? I think we do have some mild options, right? J just the helmet. But that reduces shooting accuracy. We don't want to do that just yet. We've got simple helmets available. We can make quivers for a few people. We've got three people, well, more than, I think, four people in here have bows right now. Quiver's increasing shooting speed, I believe. So let's go ahead and make a couple quivers. Those will be useful. I do wish I could make muskets right now. That'd be fun. Uh, we've got a sky steel breaching ass, ass, a, axe and a steel spatha. Got Magnus back. Yeah, no, I managed to capture myself. Did a goose take down a coyote? Yup. Thing got fucking goosed. And I am on it. Well, uh, okay, we could use a little bit. Do I have a, I got meat, I got a meat hook. I can put a meat hook in here. We could also just mine this out a little bit more. How you doing, Lord? Are we feeding this bear potatoes? Okay, I, I guess the bear likes potatoes. In all fairness, my dogs really like, um... Oh, fuck, I forgot I sent somebody out. Who, who, who? I completely forgot about <laughs> I completely forgot I said perturb out. All right, welcome back, friend. Good, good, good to have you. Good to have you. Okay. Alrighty, look at that. Yeah, that looks good. Mine this out a little bit. Get some more room in here. Oh, hello. It's Lorge. We might need uh, another thing to keep it frozen. Oh, we also need to roof it. There's some little missed sections there. Uh, got it. It's not very hot outside, so it's not hard to get it frozen in here. Time to finish the floor. Uh, if you're talking about finish the floor in here, probably not gonna bother because we're gonna start putting our construction in, uh, our construction efforts and resources into moving into a more permanent base location. Back this way, I think. I think what we'll probably end up doing is, uh, Carving this straight down and um, in, in, in kind of going through this area right here and using this as a kill corridor and kind of moving into the mountain a little bit. I think that's what we'll probably do. Is this good in here? Minus five. Yeah, well, I mean, it's minus one outside right now, so. It's good to have food, though. That went away for the glitter beds, wasn't it? Yeah, I just completely forgot that we sent them away. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of the metery. I don't think this is necessary anymore. Uh, because we have a way of preserving food now, so I don't think we need to keep smoking the meat. Insulating the food storage. Well, it's already mostly insulated. It's uh, it's triple thickness on three of its four sides, and it's already as long as it's below freezing, it's fine. Infestations will be rampant. Well, I'm sure they'll happen. Always does. Equip as a sidearm. Boom. All right, alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is... I think we just need to start carving out rooms. Okay, you know what we're gonna need to do basically first? We're gonna need to get power back there for lights and to live on, basically. So the first thing we're really going to need to do is at least smooth out one wall going like all the way back so that as we start 
too close. Oh, that's the edge of the map, right? As we start getting um, back this way, we can actually get electricity, lights back there, reduce the chance of uh, bugs, that kind of stuff. Tools, yes, please. We already have st uh, stews right now, so I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna go with tools over soups. Tools are very useful to have. And thankfully, we have some okay constructors, so they're not super slow. I've seen worse. Uh, let's go ahead and tell anybody who's bored to start hauling blocks. We're going to need to get all of these out of here anyway. So just go ahead and grab these. Start bringing them in so that the block breakers can break blocks. I like the idea of a stew room. Uh, a stew room, I mean, I'm starting to get fucking hungry. Because I'm, I'm a big fan of stews. So if I had a whole room filled with various kind of stews brewing at the same time, uh, that sounds delightful. A stewer, yeah, exactly, a stewery. Exactly. Lord, how's your training? Lord's a trade for tack, almost done on rescue and then haul. Very good. Nice to have a little black bear friend. We got our last batch of jerky done. <laughs> Hello, Galatross. Not touching you. Oh, it's a wild pond. I was like, what the fuck is that? Just a wild pond. Are we going to be able to get... We actually... Looks like we might get a little bit more food before everything freezes to death. It's fall. The temperature's starting to go down. We might get... As the sun comes up, we might get a little tiny bit of grow time left. We'll see. Ah, oh, he's fucking around in my fields. All right. Well, in that case, what I'm going to do is, is see if I can harvest anything right now. Because otherwise, he's just going to eat it all. How much opium did I get? I got uh, 218 minus what I've already snorted. Snorted? How do, you, how do you take opium? Smoke? You smoke it? You smoke it, right? Right? That's how, that's how you opium? I don't know. And there goes the power. All right, just make sure this stuff gets brought back in. What do you need to make a greenhouse? I got everything I need to make a greenhouse. I just haven't um, uh, gotten around to doing it yet, basically. I've been working on other projects, and right now we're kind of good on food. Let's start getting now those power conduits put in. That way we can get light down this way. Uh, power. Or no, furniture. Wall light. We'll get one put in right there. We'll have a light. I'll put one right here too. That's a wall lamp. What's the difference between a lamp and a light? Vanilla factory has been... It uses three times the power. Uh... Does it, does it throw light farther? Is it more lighty? I think it might be more lighty. I have no idea if there is... <laughs> it doesn't actually say how far it throws light. It's just from fa Vanilla Faction Expanded Ancients. I need to light up corridors and, or in vaults. Um, I guess what I could do is wait for them to get a little further down here and then put in, uh, and then just compare, like get, get a little bit further in and then put in a, a light and a lamp and see just how far, cause you can see that it throws light from the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish. Basically. I think the regular lights are less. 
but I don't know uh, because I've got so many I've got different light sources like irregularly placed in here it's kind of hard to tell so we'll just see what happens I'll, I'll wait for him to do a little bit more work get a little bit further down the corridor throw one down and just see what happens guys all right so we'll just go wall light put that way down here and see what do okay so so this throws it one two three four Okay, so it throws the light significantly less far, about half. So with the wall lamps, you could, it, it's, the wall lamps are still less efficient. You could still do it with less power with this, with more small ones, but you could do it with fewer items with the lamps. So the lamp is 20, and this is 5. It's just, the, the, the lamps are, the only, they're, they're more expensive in terms of power and in terms of um, material, but you could just light areas with less of them. Which I kind of like, honestly. Just that you have to use fewer of them. So let's see. Um, this goes... So from the center, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay probably call it eight because it'll overlap so one two three four five six seven eight and then nine that should do it the lamps have a nice warm tone they do have a nice like oh nice warming warming glow. yeah that actually worked out pretty well there's just a tiny actually it would work out better if you flipped it to the other side I think it would be perfect if you flip it to the other side, but unfortunately, there is a little bit of steel in here that's in the way, so maybe we mine that out. And then we go like this. Can't one be used for growing indoors? That's a different one. So the sun lamp is the one that allows you to grow. Uh, the wall lamp, I believe, is just light. Yeah, because this only costs 30 power, and this is 2,900. There, I know what you're talking about. It is a different item, though. Four times the construction cost, three times the electric cost for less than two times the... Uh, yes, it's not, it's not very efficient, but we already established that. I'm not really concerned about how efficient it is, because the power cost is still low. And the... Um, the power cost is still low, and the construction cost is still low, even if it's higher. I just like that you can light up large areas with fewer of them. Colored lights research should have those sun wall light. Yeah, I think it was a different research. We'll just add it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, like if you're if you were really concerned about efficiency, if you had like re if you were really strapped for power or really strapped for steel, yeah, no, this would not be the way to go. But. If you've got a decent amount of power, you got a decent amount of steel. The only, oh fuck! I like that it just you could just light up an area with fewer of them. Fitz, you got the crap kicked out of you a little bit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually just flip this to the other side there, and theoretically, it should give me full coverage if I take this one out. If we just alternate down the hallway. Yep. 
Worked. Beautiful. So that's full coverage. And you don't need that many of them. I like that. I think the bag of skis has, has, has broken bed. The weather next week will be clouds with uh, risk of snow Thursday and Friday. Beautiful. Perfect. Fucking got sunny and warm here. Not happy about that. Fucking sunny and fucking warm and fucking Stockholm. I was promised gray skies and gloom and it was not gloomy. All right. Uh, water mill. Base electronics. Cacao. Might actually just do the water mill. I'm not gonna. Well, well, I can make I can make the water mill work because I could probably uh, mine out this way and get to the river and block them in. That's doable. Uh, and I am going to actually have them backfill this as we go, just so there's no chances of bugs spawning in that little spot. It's actually not taking as long as I expected to get this work done. Yep, and there's plants dying from the cold. Uh, we're gonna do down this way too. Thrumbo chase. Sorry, no can do. We've got food stored for the winter. How much? Not a ton, but I've got a lot of spare food over here. So I'm gonna actually uh, take these guys down now. Three to five years you're still alive. Can I come make you my national food? What is your national food? So I got here and the Swedes were like, oh, it was a Swedish licorice. It's like the greatest thing ever. And I've tried it several times and fucking licorice they have here is terrible. It's awful. Also, well, Swedes do criminal things to all food. All food. The Swedes, the... Oh, it's terrible. Swedes and their pizza. Thank God I found... Well, I, I say I found. Thank God my, my Italian friend found a good place to get pizza. Because that made me... Because, like, like, all of the pizza I've had... Because I've tried pizza places a couple different ones since I've gotten here. I mean, I've only been here for like two months, so... Um, I've tried a couple different pizza places since I've gotten here. And, th and they're all kind of variations on, on the same thing. They're all okay none of them none of them i've had yet have been phenomenal they've all been okay uh but thankfully my my italian friend found just really really good pizza try to make my own pizza. oh yeah i do that all the time i haven't done that since we got here but in the u.s i did that all the time actually probably should do that soon and scrin scrin where the fuck is that from I fuck fuck <laughs> Command and Conquer? Is that the name of the uh, the third um, faction in Command and Conquer? Doom! I think it is. Uh, all right, what do we got here? We got two assemblers, two auras. Yeah, Command and Conquer. I thought so. Uh, we got two slugger turrets. We got an auto inferno turret. We do have an unstable power cell, which could blow up most of this stuff, thankfully. And a high shield. Um, Everything's I, perfectly all right now. We're fine. I, I, I We're do have some grenades. I, I whipped off of someone's corpse. That's what I get for <laughs> I'm talking Swedish pizza. You Swedes! You do crazy things like, like pizza. Pizza's easy. Pizza is easy. But you guys gotta complicate it. You're putting taco seasons seasoning on it. You're putting curry on it. You're putting bananas on it. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're putting a whole kebab on it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Actually, we got EMPs too. Oh wait, do we only have EMPs? I thought we had grenade grenades. I don't, I don't think we have, okay. I 
I just put pineapple on my pizza. Yeah, that's criminal too, but Americans get away with that. I'm, I'm talking about what's quintessentially Swedish and offensive to pizza. Barbecue pulled pork pizza. I, would, I don't think I'd object to that. I've had, I've had bar, like barbecue pizza before. I never really liked the flavor combination, but I didn't, you know, it wasn't as, as horribly offensive as banana and curry. Yeah, I think what we do is we EMP the whole thing and try to detonate the unstable power cell here. What is this, by the way? Defoliator, okay. Some grenades on the left wall. Uh, they're flashbangs. Flashbang grenades. Ooh, remaining charges, zero. But I do have in industrial special ammo? One industrial special ammo, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. One person just whips EMPs at the whole group. And and the guys with bows and a musket try to take down the unstable power cell while they're all dongled. Maybe this might be a time where grabbing some guns might be a good idea. Bananas or banana peppers? Uh, banana peppers on pizza, I think are delicious, but my favorite toppings on pizza, I, I think it's pretty simple. Onion, banana peppers, and pepperoni, I think are, 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 are my favorite topping. I think those are pretty simple. Fucking Swedes. Bananas, curry, and bolognese sauce on a pizza that they can't even get the right cheese on. Ugh. Well, are we making our own pizza? Oh, what time is it? I think it's too late today to make, make our own pizza. It's getting late. Might be a little too late today. You don't have to choose that. Well, even when you guys, like a lot of times, you, you, even if you just order a regular pizza, it's got weird cheeses on it. Yes, but one. I uh, I can make pizza this week. Pizza's delicious. My pizza's delicious. Uh, you got a musket. You got a longbow. Anybody in here know how to use a ranged weapon? Yes. All right. So, uh, grab a pump shotgun. That's bio coded. Uh, grab the sawed off shotgun then. I don't need a lot of range here. I just need not a lot of ammo consumption. You don't know what a gun is, 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 okay. I don't know why, but Leah's cackling like an insane person in the other room. Uh, Perturb, did you, oh, okay, you dropped your mace, so equip that as a sidearm. Ammoing up, which is good. All right, I need. All right, you get your gun. Get a gun. Reload that bad boy. You reloaded. Loaded, loaded, loaded. Loaded. Okay, okay. Uh, and I just, then I just need someone, uh, throwing, I don't think shooting skill has any effect on your ability to throw anything, so I just need someone to equip a, an EMP grenade now. There's a sourdough pizzeria close to you. Actually, that sounds good to me. I'm not going to object to that. All right, I figured out how the ammo thing works. Oh, that used all, I thought that was gonna use one ammo. That used all of it. Okay, that's okay though. Uh, it is 18, well, oh, I, I wanna make, my accuracy is gonna be important here, so I'll wait to the, to the AM to do this. 
Also, I figured out something about the ammo. They will auto reload if you have it assigned to their primary weapon. If it's assigned to them as a secondary weapon, they're not going to go auto reload it. Pain block the one that throws the grenade. That's not a bad idea. I think we were going to have one, two, three, four, five, six people shooting at this thing. Theoretically, this explosion should be able to take out all of the problematic things. It will definitely be able to take out the turrets. Um, the explo These might get blocked by some of the explosion might get blocked by some of these other th stuff in the way, but it should take out most of the threat. Uh, let's just stash a special prisoner for him. 24 days. Paralytic Abasia. A mech cluster will deploy nearby. Honestly, the rewards aren't uh, worth a mech cluster. Nor is secondary weapon while reloading. Yeah, but now that I know that, I could avoid the problem. That's what's good. I was I was trying to... I, I didn't know why that was happening before, but now that that's an easy thing to work around. That's okay. That's okay. Just something to to, to, to to worry about. But it's not a big deal. Alright, wait for the sun to come up. It's 5 a.m. 6 a.m. So it's a minor issue. Minor issue. All right, so everybody's going to come out here because we might need to um, do some melee action as well. Just got to make sure everybody's standing outside the explosive radius. We want to get in close, but not too close. Alrighty. So I'm going to whip an EMP. Oh, it does not have as big of a explosive radius as I thought it did. Okay, uh, some people are probably going to get shot then. Because the best we can do is take out, like, one mech in the turret with the EMP. But that's okay. That was a hell of a throw. Start shooting. Ow. Oh, Bakken. Where'd you get hit? Oh, in the spine. Good. All right. It's kerploding. How we doing over here? We got that pretty fucked up. Uh, so we've got uh, another aura. We got an aura. We got a dagger snout. Try to get one more uh, to hit the other turret. You guys will turn on combat command here. Should have done that uh, before, but I forgot to. We, I think the dagger snout's the biggest threat. Because that thing, I think, can really fuck people up. We did just hit it pretty good, though. Ooh, got it. This thing's pretty fucked up.
You guys get that guy. Oh, fucking this guy up pretty good. I think we're doing okay. All right, take that out next. All right, these guys got a little jacked up in melee, but not too bad. All right, so run off to the side now. These guys will take out the last turret. Good. We're good. Jidge, if you want to get in here and take this out for me, I'd appreciate that. All right, that went well. That, that could have been way worse. That could have been way worse. Okay, uh, injured, go lay down. Best doctor that's not wounded is daddy. So let's start tending. Herd, go lay down. Oh, I don't know where the Yayo came from, but it's good to have. All right, uh, Fitz is tended. Curd, tended. Richie, tend. Yeah, no, that went smooth. That could that could have been that could have been very problematic, but that went really, really well. Bakken, uh, oh right, you got Success. shot in the spine. Success. Success. I did forget about that. I'm sorry. That's my bad. That shot in the spine right at the top. You some bitch. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think any of these potato plants are harvest -onable. No, they're not. Your mother's a bitch. Okay. Need some lungs? Uh, I don't think we're missing any lungs. Missing some fingers. Daddy, unfortunately, got stabbed in the eyeball. Uh, it's only got minor asthma. I think a lot of fingers, honestly. That seems to be one of the biggest things we're missing is fingers. All right, all right. Sad wanderer, that's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, bring in the components, bring in the mech components. Oh, I was like, simple meal rotted away. It's the stuff we gave to Yuri. Yuri, you, you get booze, friend. You get booze. You don't get to eat. You get to drink. Got a lot of textiles now. Almost 2,800. And Kurd's got an infection, of course. It's always the doctor who gets the infections. Shack of valuables, a shield belt and a range shield belt. Hmm, not bad. Uh, daddy, tend to curd. What, what body part? The shoulder, yeah, I don't wanna lose an arm. Richie, on a mental break, of course. Prioritize the jerky. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Uh, clear all jerky and just put the jerky in there. So the jerky don't go bad. Okay, okay, okay. I'm happy. Uh, I am going to have them drop their, um, like, industrial weapons now because I want to make sure we're preserving that ammunition. If possible. So just hold on to your melee weapons for now. All right, curd. You're all right. So how many, how many spots are in between these? One, 
two, three, four, five. Well, I can just measure it out easily. So from one to the next is 18 squares. So we just go 18 squares. We put a next one right there. Oh God, I gotta, yeah, right there. <laughs> and that should cover it light wise. There we go. So that's fine. I, was, I didn't have anything to give to them anyway. I got all that yak meat in there. Yak beef, good. All right, now we check the light map. Beautiful, perfect. I think you have to remove the prison designation to get the drinks out. Yeah, you're probably right. That's just fucking annoying. Here, let's uh, let's do this. <laughs> Eliminator, thank you very much. That's starting to get me again. Now that I'm playing EU, <laughs> now that I'm playing EU four again, that is starting to get me. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Richie's no longer wandering in sadness. Okay, Richie, do me a favor and do a preach health on Curd. Ravenously hungry. Uh, why? There's plenty of food. If you didn't eat, that's your fault. There's plenty, there's plenty of food in here. All right, all right. Uh, we are going to have to, yeah, I'm sorry, but it's time to take down Diplodocus number one. Sorry, friend, but <laughs> you're in the winter, winter has come. You're starting to starve to death. It is time. Poor fella. Well, at least he gets to turn into a meat explosion. Poor fella. Fifteen, fifteen hundred Diplodocus meat. It's a, it's about a few. It's about a few. Plus, 650 sauropod leather. Which probably gives me... Probably still have some from before, too. Uh, Malner... Why are these people not eating food? Why are they getting hungry? Food, food. A lot of them are not eating. A lot of them are hungry. What the fuck? Well, ah, they were mech components. I didn't have anything to do with them. So it's a small waste of me of uh, of wealth, but that's it. I don't I don't have anything to do with mech components right now. So just got they a bunch of them got mad from not eating but they're not eating on their own accord everybody else is fine Bakken, go get some to eat let's just watch him real quick he had food in his pocket you idiot idiots idiots i'm surrounded by idiots Okay, all right. Well, this is fine. They also haven't moved the jerky. Oh, you know what? This is prob. The jerky is probably set. This is on preferred. This is on preferred. So it's not important. Crisis of belief on Yuri. No big deal there. Cue's it. Yeah, yeah. I accidentally cle uh, cleared the queue at the top of today's stream. I went to go pick someone and I hit clear instead of pick. There we go. There you go, Yuri. Now, Yuri not eating, I understand, because I didn't give him any food, and apparently he doesn't want to drink. Oh, shit. You know what I keep... Oh, holy crap. Fitz, it is cold back there, and you are going to go down. 
Uh, you know what I keep forgetting to do? Fucking converting Jidge. It's got all... I got it down to 36%. It's already back up to 74 because I keep forgetting. Ah, well. One of these days. Uh, yeah, I need more... I need more heat again, but we do have access to... Electric heaters now. So we can, um... Start putting some of these in here. Put that in there. Put one there. We don't need these. We're going to be working in here a lot, so might as well heat it. Captured during a raid and a bear comes and brings you food. A tra trained bear sounds pretty cool to me. A long stream today. I'm probably gonna end up wrapping it uh, up pretty soon. I don't even know how long I've been going to uh, at this point, but I think it's been about four hours. Industrial generator, bronze working, go juice production. Uh, well, do I actually need the? <laughs> I don't actually need these right now. I I have geothermal, and there's another geothermal vent right there. I don't really need it. I think I'll actually just take the bronze. Make some bronze statues or something like that. Wait, does bronze have like a beauty quality? That would be cool if it did. Uh, no, nah, it's the same as steel. At least it's not uglier than steel. All right, temperatures come up a little bit. I didn't realize how cold it was getting outside. Put a couple heaters in back here, too. Try to at least get it above freezing. Let's see, yeah, it's uh, minus 10 in this corridor right now. And we spent a lot of time working back here. So, yeah, we should probably try to get it a little warmer. All right, so we'll mine that out. Because it's in the way. Okay, it's above freezing. That's good. It's not it's not warm, but it's above freezing. Actually making really good progress on this whole project. Uh it's mostly finished, honestly. Cuz they're just going to go to there and then the whole thing the whole wall is smoothed out. There's power all the way down the corridor and then we can start working back there. For pelt coats, yeah, I could do that. We basically are just wearing whatever we've pulled off of dead people at this point. We don't exactly have a uniform. There we go. I do have a lot of leathers I could work with. Wearing dead I'm wearing dead people's clothes. I'm not wearing clothes made out of dead people. I'm just wearing clothes I pulled off of dead people. <laughs> so what we just need to do is count another 18 squares. Which goes to right there. I'm just marking it with my finger. I believe is this one. Oh, I didn't smooth it out yet though. I think that's I think that one's correct. 18. No human face bags this time. Not, not yet. You never know. You never know. The fuck that I get injured from? Uh, apparently I got fisted. Sometimes you feel like some long pig. Sometimes you don't. Trying to get this whole corridor. Well, it's some. This is. I'm doing it this way because it's often. Sometimes I forget to do. Like I'll. I'll start mining back this way, and then I'll go. I'll build. I'll build out a room, and then I'm like, wait. This room has no power. It has no heat. 
Uh, it, it, it's not smoothed out. It's a hideous place to be. Nobody wants to actually utilize these rooms. So I'm trying to consciously remember to get power and utilities back there before I start trying to make rooms. What do we got here? A phalanx, a psychic suppressor, countdown activator, three mech nodes, high shield, drop beacon, inferno turret, two mini sluggers. Uh, and the reward is an orbital bombardment targeter. Ooh, oh, excuse me. Uh, glitter world medicine, skill trainer for cooking, and an infinite chem reactor. Uh, well, these two or those two. Decent rewards. There's no unstable power cores in there that would make it an easy fight, though. If there was an unstable power core in there, I'd be like, totally. Because then we could do what we did before, kind of try to lock them down, detonate the unstable power core, knock out a bunch of them. But without that, I feel like we would not have a good time of it. Ooh. Uh, we're going to have to chase them down, though. Because they are not going to want to hang out here. Go get them. I was about to say, is it fucking foggy as shit? No, it's because I got the show light map overlay on. Um, let's see. What do we, what do we got? Radiation mask, steel wreath. Got a lot of steel. That's about, that's about all I got. I got some opium. Bear skin fox where I got some textiles. They don't have anything worth buying, though, is the thing. There's nothing I need in here. Need a wreath? Uh, like a little, it's a little Caesar crown thingy. It would be better if it was gold, though. If it was made out of something other than steel, if it was something fancier, I'd probably go for it. Yeah, uh, I guess what we'll just try to do is try to make a little bit of money by selling some textiles, honestly. I've got a ton sitting around that I don't necessarily need, so we'll start selling some plain leather until we get their cash. 958. Cool. There we go. Better than nothing. Well, I know what, what he's wearing right now is better than that. If I'm if I'm going to take a actual negative in terms of the the usefulness of the gear I'm wearing, just so it looks good, it better look real good, not just some bland steel laurel crown. Make that thing out of fucking gold or silver, and we'll talk or jade. Make it fancy pants, and we'll talk. Uranium. Unfortunately, uranium's ugly. That does make me sad. I wish uranium wasn't ugly. It, it is, uh, uranium is half the beauty modifier of, of just plain steel. So making anything out of uranium, like statues or armor or, you know, whatever, you know, furniture, things like that, is inherently more ugly. I wish it wasn't. Woo! Centurion armor. Yes, I will take that this time. I, that will allow me to actually make some armor for my people. Because all I can make right... I can't even make leather armor right now. All I could do is um, some helmets. So we are going to backfill this. Whoop. And then I just need... That's not what I meant to do. Uh, just needed to measure that, but I didn't mean to actually put a thingy in there. There we go. Another light in there. Beautiful, beautiful. Should get a heap of for yeah for uranium. I feel like would have to be uh, a pr pretty well enriched to give off a tangible amount of heat, though. 
Like, like if there, if uranium was giving off warmth, it would certainly be murdering the fuck out of you. Like, you would be very dead. It would be cool, though. Even if it didn't make any sense, it would be cool. Hey, oh, Yuri, welcome to the colony, you murdering son of a bitch. Uh, you are gonna get the Spatha. Um, I don't have any weapons I want to give you other than that. Okay, uh, well, Yuri gets th this super murdery melee person gets to be named. Mayor. There we go. Now, if, if you could enrich uranium and then use it to make a heated floor, then we're talking. <laughs> Got a wine merchant, but they're pretty lame. All right. Uh, we don't need the food in here anymore. Get rid of that, but the jerky can stay. Right, let's uh, get all this hauled out. Magnus, do me a favor and go work on that. Oh, we ran out of space for steel. Ah, yeah, we did. Um, I don't know what a pallet is yet. I guess just leave it in the hallway for now. <laughs> just shove it off to the side, leave it in the hallway. Oops, I didn't mean to cancel all that though. All right, hallway is beautifully lit. So, I think it is actually time that we could start building some rooms. So, I think the... Because we have a lot of uh, horizontal space here. Reconverting Jidge. Is Richie ready? Yes. Richie and Jidge, if you guys could have a little... Uh, there we go. That was actually a pretty good one. 82 to 63 is not bad. I'm thinking we do a, a cross hallway. And then we can start building rooms. Easy peasy. Let's see, where is the edge of the map? That's 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 the real okay, so I'm gonna put a little I'm gonna put a little nub in there so I know exactly where the edge of the map is. And then we are going to just uh, measure down, let's say, 11 tiles. So we can fit a decent sized room in there. And then we want that there would be a wall right there. And then I'm saying we're going to put in a hallway going this way. We'll just do 20 this way. 20 this way. Like so. And that'll give us room to build on this side, on this side, on this side, on this side. And we've got a nice little base here. A nice little start to a base, that is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've not opened the Ancient Danger yet. I mean, we could. We've got a lot of people, so we, we know that if we, with enough attacks, we can get through the armor of mechs. So we can grab everybody, hop on over here, and see what do. Here, let's uh, deconstruct there. See what's in there. Hopefully it's not horrific. Sometimes it's super easy. Sometimes it's disgusting. So it's always not a centipede. Uh, no, not bad. Just some bugs, just some bugs. Okay, so Austrian. And Mayor, you're like my best melee person. So you guys go there. You guys pop on over here. Where's Magnus? Magnus, you got a gun. We've got a circadian influence. Is all we got in there. There's not even a, um... Oh, wait, 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 no. There is. Underneath it, there's a hermetic crate. Yeah, 
You do all right? Yeah, you're not bad. You guys want to deal with that? All right, that's dealt with. Uh, so let's just fuck off. Open the crate. Psychic animal pulser. Those are useful. Let's get this stuff hauled out of there. And we can open these later. Mus oh, yeah, the musket's actually pretty good. It's only downside is if it is its slow rate of fire. But it's accurate. It has long range. And it does a fuck ton of damage. So it's actually pretty good. Austrian, you need to lay down. Mr. Mr. Mayor has nothing to do with his time. Because you're like a murder machine and we don't, we're not doing a lot of work right now. Um, well, we're going to have a lot of work to do. I don't know what the animals are barking at. Planting art. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna go check to see what the animals are up to. Girls, what, what, why are we flipping out? What? This is my chair, goddammit. This is my chair. <laughs> Hi, Penelope. You flipping out too? Oh, you're all flipping out. Oh, Theo's clicking buttons with her snoot. <laughs> She's clicking snoot buttons. Yeah, snoot buttons. Oh, oh, well, be careful there. Don't hit me in the face. You can't punch me in the face. That. Oh, she did unpause. Oh my god. <laughs> I got Penny down here too. Hi, Penelope. Oh, Dago. Oh, oh, Dago. Oh, Snoot. Oh, Snoot. Oh, Dago. Oh, Dago. Oh, hi, 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 hi. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Did you just burp on me? Oh, Dago. Oh, Dago. She just burped in my face. It smelled like kibble. All right. Well, let's see. How long have we been going now? I think I don't even know. Um, what's my uptime? I don't even know how long we've been going. All right, I've been going for just over four hours now, so I'm going to uh, wrap it up here, guys. I think that's a good uh, cooling off point. Uh, we had a good stream. It was like two hours of, of chaos followed by two hours of actual progress on the base, but we did a good job. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I will be streaming again Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday this coming week for EU4 and more RimWorld, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.